following program is a feature presentation on WELW. The views and opinions presented on this program do not necessarily coincide with those of our ownership, management, or staff. Welcome to Mondays with Malta. And Ray Malavik and John O'Donnell, too, are live at Mama Roberto's for our season preview of the volleyball teams in Northeast Ohio. We'll have... East Lake North, Willoughby South, Lake Catholic, Venner Cardinals, Riverside Beavers, and the Gilmore Lancers, along with uh, the coaches, players, and uh, a host of other people. So make sure if you're driving around, stop down at Mama Roberto's, where the Italian food is like no other. Come and see Rick and Renee, a great place, because I've never seen anybody eat here and not walk out with a big leftover bag so make sure you stop in order some great food and uh stop in and see these girls we got the top of volleyball players in again northeast ohio tonight's program is brought to you by dnw goods dan phillips owner operator 440-342-2002 dnw will handle all your team's needs from embroidering to silk screening dan made the shirt i am wearing pepco jack borky owner operator located 10 lakeland boulevard pepco is a wholesaler distributor of electrical and telecommunications, utility and high voltage. Pepco's East Lake office is on Lakeland Boulevard. Again, 440-946-3790 to reach Jack Clements Construction. Mike Clements, owner-operator, 440-951-2033. If you need a new roof, if you need your roof needs roof repairs, a reputable, honest co- company call Clements Construction. For 20 years, owner-operator Mike is on the job to solve all your roofing problems, including yours. Check out one of the outstanding jobs at 29731 Fairway in Willowick and 345 High T in Willowick. Matrix Tool and Machine, Rich Wilson, owner-operator. Proud sponsors of Mondays with Malta, Mentor High School Sports, Mentor Middle School Lacrosse. You can reach Rich at, at 440-255-0300. Rich is also a huge supporter of Lake Catholic and Chinese, its Chinese auction. Mentor Family Foods. Owner-operator P.J. Conway, my good buddy, located on the corner of Lakeshore and Route 306. Mentor Family Foods always has exactly what you need, said a customer that uh, I interviewed. You can reach him at 440-946-3788. Check out his Wednesday ad in the News Herald. This week, boneless chicken, 248, pork roast, 148 a pound, and boneless of round, 348 a pound. Boneless New, New York strip steaks, 698. And uh, for a stone owner operator, Mike Fimiani, 216 780 4938, located at 3700 Vine Street in Willoughby, specializing in granite, marble, and engineered stone countertops. Check out their website at www.forensastone.com. I visited the showroom last week, and it's simply incredible. How about a $30,000 bathroom? Nancy would like that, John. Yes, she would. I yes, guarantee she would. you she would. <laughs> Judy Moran for com- commissioner. Elect Judy Moran for commissioner on November 6th. A 14-year member of Willow Council, where she currently serves as council president. She has worked hard to keep taxes low, and that, and that is why her business and financial background is second to none. She has helped bring regional support needed to create a Lake Erie Energy Development Corps. Last but not least, Kramer Printing, the top program in high school sports, 440-205-1199. Printing faster than the speed of life, located at 8634 Station Street. Lenny Kramer, owner-operator, digital printing, brochures, labels to the political signs with your name on them, and he can print it. The name of the game is printing, Kramer Printing, 440-205-1199. Well, that's all you're going to hear from me tonight because the experts will be talking about the volleyball. My good buddy Ray Malava, come on up, and I'm going to be bringing the teams up. And the first up are the South Rebels. Bill, bring the girls up. Let's hear it for the Rebels! Charlie, Charlie, you warm these up big time for me, I'll tell you that. Hot air coming out of those ears tonight. Well, that's because it's volleyball night. Finally, we get to talk some volleyball here on our second or third program. 
Good to have next to me, of course, as Charlie affectionately calls him, the area, one of the area gurus of volleyball. And that's Mr. O'Donnell. John, good to see you again. Well, I, nobody's ever called me that, Ray, except you once a year, but thank you very much. Well, to be here yeah, I mean it. You've seen a lot, that's for sure. I know over the last several years, uh, your high school career with your daughter and then on to college. And uh, I've seen a few matches myself over the years as a uh, JV coach for about 15 years at the high school in Wycliffe and now the last five years middle school and just came from a match out in Aurora good match we came out on top so all is well all is well in the world of volleyball and it's always well at Willoughby South because we have a, a coach and a bunch of girls that are always smiling always having a good time and very competitive to say the least and Bill Barron how you doing very well very well uh, season off and rolling. Uh, you got about what, five, six matches in so far. How's things going? We got 13 matches in so far. Whoa! Okay. We uh, we front end loaded our uh, schedule a little bit. Uh, it's currently seven and six. Um, things are going better every single practice and every single game. Which is a goal. I That's mean, it. To be better today than we were yesterday or last week. Or last week, right. And, uh, you know, and the best is yet to come. Of course, you're still in the heart of your league schedule. How's that shaping up? Who's uh, tops right now? Currently, we are undefeated in the pack. There you are. You're uh, tops. We have one little match tomorrow against uh, some team from Eastlake North. So. Uh, Stevens Boulevard? Uh, yes, right They're off still Stevens around Boulevard. They're there? still okay. there. Yep, they they won't leave us alone. All right, well, they'll be coming up later to counteract whatever you might say, but uh, always a challenge when you always. take on, yeah, no matter where it is, what it is. You know, we talk so much about the News Herald running that survey about 10 years ago, a football rivalry, mm -hmm. and they, everybody could vote, and it wasn't even close. I mean, right. just came out north against south, and then somewhere right. below was Euclid St. Joe's and Lake of Men or whatever else you want to throw in there. So it's always that way, and it always is going to be that way. So, right, right. Uh, and, of course, you played twice and sometimes three times due to the tournament. Mm -hmm. You got them, and they got you, whether you want them or not. That's right, that's right. But uh, good to see unbeaten. Uh, who have you beaten in the league so far? Uh, we played Lakeside. We played Geneva, Riverside. Who am I missing? Chardon. Chardon? Yep. Okay, so, hey, moving right along. Mm -hmm. You played everybody home and away. Correct. So, still a lot of games to go. Still a lot of games to go. It's 22-match season. And you personally, how many years now for head coach? My seventh so? season at South. Okay. And before that? Uh, I spent. I did spend one year at North. Okay. So, this game's a little bit bigger than, than some for other people. But You've got some more feelings about yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and before that, I spent six, six years at Villangelo St. Joe's. Okay, so... 15 or so years coaching volleyball. Yes. Great. John? Coach, you, you mentioned that you front-loaded your schedule. You got, you've got played nine out-of-conference uh, matches so far. Who, who have you faced thus far? Uh, Notre Dame Cathedral Latin was the first match of the season for us. Uh, this past weekend, we played Amherst Steel uh, in a tournament. Very, very good team. Uh, we have played Gilmore, who is very young, but very good. Um, uh, my mind's drawn a blank right now. And what have you, have you done that before with this type of schedule, or is this something new that you? Uh, the last couple of years, we we front loaded the schedule. Uh, we try to get some very good competition so that we can play, challenge ourselves early on, and and see where we're going to stack up against competition. And then, uh, of course, that I, I would imagine that you would envision that helping you come tournament time also to play that stiffer competition and then get into the league. Correct, correct. When we have the ability to play such great programs like we've played so far this year, uh, it's it, a big challenge against us early in the season so that mid-season or late in the season we can see those challenges, we can compare what we're doing now to those challenges and then be successful. And, and tell me a little bit about your team as far as a mix of, of uh, youth and, and experience that you got. Well, uh, this year on the varsity team we have six seniors. Uh, which is which is a lot for us. Uh, we've got a mix of some juniors thrown in there, and then we've got a freshman actually playing varsity this year. And is that something unusual in your program that you've uh, not experienced before, freshmen playing varsity? There's been two so far, and they're both sitting here. So, <laughs> well, that uh, that says a lot uh, about your future. And, and tell yes. me, uh, what impact do you believe that uh, junior Olympic volleyball has had on your program? It, it's a big impact. Uh, the ability for those players to get out and, and play in a tournament, an all-day tournament or an all-weekend tournament, or some of them at the national level, national level are playing three or four-day tournaments. 
to go up against that competition and to learn as much as they do in a day or in a weekend, it, it really brings a lot to us so that we can concentrate on skills, we can concentrate on finite things as opposed to some of the bigger things that they will during J.O. And do you uh, involve with J.O. also? Uh, yes, I have been involved with J.O. for a number of years. Yeah. What? Uh, tell me a little bit about what you believe uh, the, the key to your team is going to be this year. Being our heads in the game. <clears throat> uh, this game is a very mental game. Uh, we heard a speech uh, the other night by someone, and they actually said, you all know as well as I do that this game is 95% mental. If we can keep our heads in it, if we can make smart decisions in the middle of the best competition that we can come up against, uh, we're going to be very successful. And one last thing before I give you back to Ray here. Um, have you found that since the volleyball has gone to rally scoring, that the mental aspect of it is even even bigger because of the ability to get runs and, and to be on the other end of runs? Yes, yes. Uh, runs are a very interesting thing to us. Uh, if we have the ability to limit runs on the opposing team, we're, we're going to do well. We give up eight, nine points in a row to the other team. Is That's when we struggle. That's really struggling for us. Uh, it was switching over to that rally scoring, if, if you're playing in a match to 15 and the opposing team has 14 points, you have the ability to stop them and, and stop them from winning, even if you side out or even if you make an error when you're serving. There's no room for that here. Especially when it's 14 to 11 and you're down and, yes. and you're serving and you've got to make sure that ball yes. you know, gets over that net. So there's a lot of pressure on the girls. Lots of pressure on the girls. Every, every single point, every single opportunity, it's... it's there's something there for them. And would you agree with me that makes it, it makes it a better game, the rally score? It's much more exciting yeah. uh, because every opportunity, that every time the ball's in play, it's an opportunity to score a point. All right, Coach. Well, let's meet some of the ladies you brought with us tonight. A uh, good number represented, starting with our first young lady. If you'd give me your name, your grade in school, and a position you play on the court. How's that? I'm freeway. I'm a setter, and I'm in twelfth grade. Senior, and you're a setter. Okay. Yes. How many years varsity? Uh, three. Third year. Yeah. Okay. So you're a veteran, no question about it. Yeah. How's this season shaping up? You pretty happy? Uh, yeah. I mean, could gotta be, be huh? Undefeated in the pack. That's right. a great start. Is that pretty much your number one goal as a team to win the league? To win the pack, yeah. And then of course after that, uh, go as far as you can in the tournament, but. A realistic goal, I think, for most teams is win their conference. Uh, yeah. That's a big accomplishment because you're in a very tough one. It's great. Okay, how about some personal questions? Uh, biggest influence on your sport so far, volleyball? Um, probably my dad. My dad pushes me through everything. Like okay. J.O. tournaments, he goes to all of, um, all of my games. And, wow, so. uh, that, that's a commitment and, yeah. and a great commitment. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny. I know my daughter played a little volleyball in high school years ago, and uh, you know, she used to say at times, oh, "We don't. I don't want you there, Dad, or I don't want you there, Mom. I get too nervous, you know." And then yet we'd be there maybe a little late one day, and she's gone like, "Yeah." You know what I mean? <laughs> so she wanted. She the parents want to be there. You want them to be there, but sometimes you know they maybe does put a little extra pressure. Sounds like your dad's very supportive, good or bad. He knows I what I want. He wants to help me get it. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. How about uh, most important you th thing you've learned in high school in general? Not necessarily volleyball. Um, probably just to be myself. Just don't try to be anything I'm not because it's not going to get me anywhere. That's for sure. Might even hold you back. Right. Be yourself. What a great uh, bit of advice for our young people listening. How about a mo memorable moment in volleyball? So far, it may be best yet to come, you know. Best or worst? <laughs> really? Um, best, best, best. Best. Um, oh, Riverside last year. Uh, I broke a record, broke 51 assists in a match. So awesome. Most memorable moment. Great. Of course, Riverside, a part of our show tonight, yeah. later. Awesome. And how about something on your bucket list, something you'd like to do before that you haven't done yet? Um, win the pack. That's something... I sat the bench my freshman year for varsity, almost won the pack, second place, same thing sophomore year, same thing junior year, mm. so this is the year. Knocking on the door to yeah. go through it. Right. And a senior, your last shot. Right. Yeah, that's special. 
Okay, and how about three people that you could invite to dinner? It's our favorite question. I know, I Past know it is. or present, okay, alive or not, that you could bring back and sit at your table, just you and three people. Um, oh my God, this is so difficult. Um, I'd probably just take, like, my sister and my mom and my dad. Hey, great choices. <laughs> That's great. Keep it in a family. Yeah. So. Very good job and good luck rest of the way. Thank way. you. Next we have? Hi, I'm Alex Stoyevich. I'm a senior and I'm a DS. Okay. And for our listeners out there, that means what? Um, Defensive specialist? Yes. Okay. I'm just helping you out there. I yeah. knew you knew about uh, your season going okay so far? Yeah, I think it is. We're undefeated in the pack so far and that's what we want. Working together as a team. Yep. You know, and then like your coach said, getting a little better every time. Yep. Boy, that that's every it, the key. I mean you don't you don't want to take those two steps forward and then all of a sudden three steps back. I mean it's just not the way you, you want to develop as a group. Yeah. How about your uh, biggest influence in your sport? Probably you? my grandparents because they come to everything that I do, swimming, volleyball, everything. And they're always there for me. Great, great support. Grandparents can't beat them. Awesome. Enjoy them. Yeah. Enjoy them, you know. Uh, how about memorable moment, speaking just of volleyball? Um, freshman year, we had seven people on the team, and one was injured, so we only had six people. Ooh. And in the middle of our game at Geneva, uh, one of our six players sprained her ankle, so we had to play with five people, and we won. With five. You know, I kids. never really, I knew other sports, like basketball, you continue. I wasn't sure on volleyball, so i never seen it happen. But you just continue, right, Coach? Continue to play. Is, can you get down to two? You have to start with six. Uh, as long as you can finish the match, you can keep going. Mm. Well, that is a tribute. That's, <laughs> that's a great, talk about extra effort. Oh, boy. How about a bucket list item? Um, probably just... To win the pack. Win the pack. Year. Very realistic. You haven't done it yet in your career, right? Very, okay. very focused, Coach. Close. Very Knocking very on that focused. door is a nice feeling, but get through it. Yeah. How about uh, three people coming to dinner at your house, past or present? Um, John Lennon, Souf, <laughs> and... Uh, That's a coach, right? Yeah, okay. Souf over there. <laughs> and... Um, I'm not sure who the third person would be. That's Probably right. just someone in my you, family. A family member. You're, oh, Joelle of course. That's there you are. Yeah. She invited herself. I there like you that. Go. <laughs> Thank you. Next we have? I'm Joelle of I'm a senior, and I'm a DS and a setter. Okay. All right. We have all seniors here tonight? No. no? Senior. Okay. Senior. First three are seniors. Yeah. Uh, Two-year player? Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. At position, I'm sorry. I'm a DS and a setter. Okay. Do a little both. Uh, most important thing you've learned in school, not necessarily connected with volleyball? Could um, be. Yeah, I think all the little things that I've learned in volleyball have transferred over to like everyday life that I'll use the rest of my life. You know, any good coach worth his salt always mentions somewhere that, uh, you know, sports are important because they're part of life. You, yeah. you learn lessons on your sport to carry over. And yeah, that's we just what had you just a. Said. Yeah, we just had a speaker the other night, and she taught our whole team a lot of good things that I think we'll all remember. Hey, John, that's something, too, that, you know, 25, 30 years ago when I started, you wouldn't have those sort of things uh, with your practice. I mean, you run a practice probably similar than you run today. Volleyball's volleyball with a few changes, but the motivation, the, the bonding, uh, I think that's, as you well know, you've seen it. It's come a long way. Well, it? and you probably get that more with, with kids who are not playing two and three sports either. They're concentrating on a certain sport and that, that lends itself more to bonding. Yeah, it's a big part, big part of it. Uh, more questions for you? How about, uh, here's a different one. Got some young kids listening, maybe CYO age or maybe early middle school like I coach. Uh, and you want to tell them one thing that would get them to be a senior like you are playing on a real good team trying to win a championship. Got one bit of advice for them? Um, just really never stop playing just always, if you want to just go play beach volleyball, go out, always play, play J.O., just keep playing. Practice, practice. Yeah. Practice. Yeah, you got it. And uh, we talk about bucket lists yet? No. Go ahead. Um, 
I want to travel. I don't want to stay here. I want to get out, see everything. Anywhere in particular? Everywhere. Everywhere. I like it. It's a lot of it's a yeah, lot of places. There's a lot of places. You'll make it. And three people coming to dinner. Um, definitely Sue. I'll take Alex <laughs> since she invited me to her dinner. And I'll take my freshman sister, Jill. Oh, okay. You kind of hesitated, but that's all right. But Soof, that's two already. Yeah. Okay. She's, she's starting to order. She's writing her list on what she wants to eat. Next, please. All right. I'm Kaylee Luke. I'm a senior, and I'm a middle header. Middle header. Okay. And how tall are you? Six foot. Okay. Middle headers are usually what? About six foot. Yeah. A little bigger. Yep. Most memorable moment you've had in volleyball? Um, probably the first North-South game I was ever at because I didn't go to South until my junior year. Okay. So, like, the first North-South game was just, like, so full of energy and, like... You, you got a taste of what that yeah. atmosphere is. Where'd you come from? Menor. Oh, okay. They got some rivalries, too, but yeah. nothing like North-South. Definitely not. <laughs> okay. How about uh, biggest influence on you and your sport? Um, probably my dad because... Ever since I started playing basketball in, like, second grade, he's just, like, always been at everything. And, like, he always finds a way to, like, push me through even when, like, I'm feeling like I don't want to play or, like, I'm having one of those, like, slumps. He always gets me out of it. Good. And we all have that. You need yeah. someone to pick you up. Your teammates are good at that, I hope. Uh, you said basketball. The two sports you participated in? No, I quit basketball a while ago. <laughs> so strictly volleyball. Okay, yeah. concentrating on that. And uh, how about three people coming to dinner at your house? Um, Biggie Smalls, Soup, and probably Luke Bryan. Okay, nice combination. Yeah. Very nice. Good luck to you. Thank you. And we have next? Um, I'm Jillian LaVorse. I'm a freshman, and I play right side. Wow, freshman varsity. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> impressive, really. Plus, she on a team that uh, sounds like it's pretty senior dominated, uh -huh. so yeah. that's great. Uh, so, last year you played middle school volleyball? Yeah. And now all of a sudden, jump up pretty good, huh? Yeah. It's like me being with the captains all those years, and then somebody jumps up and plays with the Indians. Of course, all of our guys could play with the Indians right now, it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, you had a your spot. Yeah. <laughs> How about. Uh, now, a lot of these questions you haven't really experienced yet, but do you have a most memorable moment in volleyball um, so far? Um, probably starting in my first high school varsity match wow. as yeah. like a freshman. Yeah, I know whenever you start, whether it takes you two years, three years, or four years, it's special. But to be there as a freshman, that's, that's a great tribute to you. How about uh, you got a long way for a bucket list yet, but something um, you'd like to do that you haven't done yet? I want to go skydiving. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, that's, uh, you know, a lot of people say that. Uh, I like to watch it. Not me. <laughs> yeah. As Charlie always says, be sure you pull that right cord. You know, yeah. there might be a couple there. You want to get the right. And then how about uh, three people coming to your house? Um, I take my sister, Joelle. She, yeah, she invited you. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll take Alex, too. And... Um, Soup. Oh, I was going to say, she was waiting back there. She said, everybody else invited me. What the heck? All right. Anybody else in the back? We got a few more back there. Go ahead. Name, please. And grade and position. I'm Annie. I Annie am what? Annie what? Kernick. Okay. I am a senior, and I am an outside hitter. Outside hitter also. Okay. And the biggest influence on your volleyball so far? My parents. Parents, both supportive. And Pick you up when you're down and congratulate you when you're not. Great. Pretty much. How about the uh, most important thing you've learned in high school overall? Something you can carry on the next 40 years of your life? <laughs> not much, huh? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, study. Study to do well. That's a good lesson. Yeah. yeah. Lesson to be learned. Do well on your job to make more money. So, yeah, I like that. How about bucket list or something you'd like to accomplish or do? Um, I want to climb a mountain. Okay. Yeah, you got to get out of this area to do that. But I plan on there, it. <laughs> there's some out there. Yeah, okay, good. And three people coming to dinner at your place. Um, my brother. Okay, one. Soof. Two. No. Tippy. <laughs> okay, three. Thank you. Next we have... I'm Morgan Tippy. Yeah. I'm a junior, and I'm the middle. Middle hitter. Okay, junior. 
Uh, biggest influence on you so far? Um, I'd say my mom. Mom? Okay, again, the same reason, <laughs> supportive, always there for you. Yeah. Great. She play volleyball? No. No, so she's just <laughs> watching you perform. Yeah. Good. Most memorable <laughs> moment on the volleyball court so far? Um, I'd say my freshman year, the North-South game. It, it seems to come up all the time. I wonder why. How about a bucket list item? I'd like to travel. Travel, okay. And uh, three people coming to dinner. Suf, Annie, and Yakli. Wow, we're not getting any, we're not getting any movie stars or anything, you know, rock stars. That's all right. Keep it close, friends and relatives, best mm -hmm. and coaches. Yeah. And next, hello, way in the back there. That's it. Stand up. Your name? Nicole Nugent. Great. Eleventh junior. And position. Libero. Oh, you're that one that can go in it. In the back row, different uniform, right? Yeah. And we've always had our listeners sometimes say, what's that? If they haven't watched volleyball for, oh, it's been a while now, though. How about maybe 10 years or am I too many? Uh, at least six years. Six, seven, at least seven, six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you just run out on the court, too, I notice. I haven't seen a lot, but you don't sub in like regulars, do you? No. You just, they know you're going in because you get that different uniform. You like that spot? Whoop, pass it up. See, everybody wants to hear you all over. Now they will. Okay. Okay. I, you like that position? Yes. Kind of important. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Yes. Are there more than one of you on the team, or are you it? No, just me. Okay. That is very important then. Uh, something you learned in school that you can carry on later on in your life? Um, just like Bree said, just be yourself and don't let anyone else, like, influence what you want to do. Terrific. Be the boss. Be yourself. And how about a uh, bucket list for you? Go skydiving. Another skydiver. You can go together, help <laughs> each other out. <laughs> and three people coming to dinner. Um, Brad Paisley. There we go. Morgan Tiffy. Okay. And my mom. And your mom. Excellent. Anyone else? All right. Well, great. Coach, uh, thanks for bringing all the ladies. And good luck tomorrow. Not just tomorrow, but the rest of the year. And uh Sounds like you're off to a great start. Keep it going and finish strong. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's All Coach right. Bill Barron and the Lady Rebels from Willoughby South. Let's have a nice round of applause for them. Excellent job. Excellent. And Charlie's gathering our next group, and let's see who we got. John, while we have a moment, while the next group comes up, East Lake North, I believe. How's uh, volleyball going in the O'Donnell family? Well, it's going. It's moving right along. One more year. Last year. Your so. daughter is at to refresh our memory. Walsh University. And a senior. And a senior. Wow. So. Where did last, that last time go? Last go around. Huh? Yeah. I recall our show, you know, obviously four years ago. Yeah. And she was you were talking here. about, you know, getting her there and getting yeah. started. And, and now it's uh, the swan song, so to speak. Yes, it is. Uh, a but pleasure. a good four years. Sure. I think yeah. She obviously made a good choice. And, yeah. And is happy. What about a field that she's involved in? Uh, occupational therapy. Okay, and great. And she'll be involved with volleyball, perhaps. Well, maybe. You never know. Huh? You never know. All right. With us now, the orange and black of East Lake North. Great group, as always. And good friend, good coach, and uh, more a good friend. And that's Eric Poggi. Good to see you, Coach. Thanks, Ray. How's things going with the East Lake North Rangers? Uh, we're getting better every day. That's what we want to hear. Better every day. Uh, youth experience, so-so, what kind of uh, We've got six seniors this year. Um, we actually have a whole starting lineup of seniors um, by position. Okay. And we intermix the uh, younger kids in, and we're getting a lot of talent. In fact, we've run out of subs in at least one of our matches already, and mm -hmm. we're running kids in and out, getting a lot of touches on the ball. The more you touch it, the better you're going to get. And uh, for your style of coaching, and you've been in a lot of years now, is that kind of the way you like to do it or maybe you do it by design because of who you have at this particular time or? i think if you go on saying you have to do the same thing year to year you're going to fail you have to adjust to the people that you have and the personnel that you have and the more you adjust and they learn their roles the better you're going to get quicker well and i don't care what sport you're coaching and you've coached others besides volleyball it certainly keeps morale up when you know that, hey, you're going in there. It's not like, well, maybe I'll play tonight. Genus is a real tough team. I won't see the floor. Uh, in and out, in and out, help it. It just got to help team morale, if nothing else. Oh, yeah. You know, they're a versatile athletic group. 
they work hard, and they've got great attitudes. The team chemistry on this team is one of the best I've had since I've been at North. Wow, and that's important. Uh, Coach, you talked about uh, playing a lot of players and, and running out of subs in a, in a particular game. Do you try to stay uh, consistent with, with what you do from, from match to match? Obviously, there's going to be adjustments, but do you try to maintain that uh, consistency so that the girls know their roles? I think that we it all starts in practice. I think that the more you run them through different scenarios, if they do have to switch roles in the course of a game, it's not something that you're just throwing at them right there. So we've got many kids that play multiple positions. Um, yeah, we have our, our core lineup that we, we start with, but we can make some adjustments depending on personnel, depending on matchups. I mean, we're not blessed with the tallest team in the world, but we play some amazing defense, and you try to put kids in positions where they can be successful. And what kind of, uh, give me an idea what kind of offense you're running this year. Well, right now we're running a 6-2. We've got two setters, a senior Molly Mauser and a junior Jen Huffard. And by subbing them out in the front row, we bring in a bigger block, and we're able to continue to stay as close to system as we can to be successful. Hey, John, we're going to up against it for a commercial okay. break, but we're going nowhere with East Lake North. They're going to stay right here, and we will be back after these uh, words of wisdom by some of our sponsors. We'd like to remind you, you're listening to Mondays with Malta, Ray Malavik, too, and, of course, John O'Donnell. We're featuring the volleyball best teams in the area right here at Mama Roberto. So stay with us. You're listening to it all on WELW, 1330 AM, WELW.com. At O'Brien Chevrolet has over 2,000 vehicles and every one is GM preferred price plus you keep the rebates up to $8,000. From Westlake to Vermilion, a short drive will save you time and money. Get upfront pricing only at Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. Pat O'Brien Chevrolet believes you do good by doing good. That's why on the first Saturday of each month, a pet adoptathon will be held where the public can see dogs and cats available for adoption at each of Pat O'Brien Chevrolet's four convenient locations. What questions might you have on real estate? Buying a home? Selling? Downsizing? Join WELW Thursday, September 27th at the Waterford at Richmond Heights. From 11 to 1 for an educational lunch and learn. Presenters Asa Cox, Asa Cox Realty will speak on the housing market and how to sell your home. And one man and a hammer on improving your home and making it more appealing to buyers. RSVP for this free lunch and event. Space is limited. Call the Waterford at Richmond Heights. 216-289-9800. 11-year-old Lake County resident Jenna is a third-generation sufferer of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Jenna's day life consists of severe bumps and bruising and fear of extreme wounds from simple injuries. To benefit EDS and Rainbow Babies and Children's, attend the Reverse Raffle First Annual Jenna's Hope Benefit at La Malfa, Friday, October 5th, 6 to 11 p.m. Top prize is $2,500. Enjoy entertainment, raffles, and Chinese auction. Resale tickets are $100 per couple and can be purchased at JT's Diner on Lost Nation Road in Willoughby or Springdale Nursery in Perry. Are you where you want to be in your life? TV radio personality Dave Ramsey is a fundamental success story. In a society desperate for it, Dave is instructed on personal and financial discipline to over 1 million families attending his Final Peace University, over 700,000 attending his live seminars, and 4.5 million weekly radio listeners. In a business world crying out for ethical leadership, he now released his fourth best-selling book, Entre Leadership. On Friday, September 21st, Dave will conduct a live nationally simulcast leadership and entrepreneurial training seminar and you are invited to participate at Mama Roberto's Buona Festa Party Center, 1111 Mentor Avenue, from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Registration is only $39 and includes continental breakfast, lunch, and materials. You need to attend this seminar to get your life to the next level. Money back guarantee if not satisfied, but you will be. Seating is limited, so register now at WELW.com or 440-974-8500, extension 11. To quench your thirst, there's nothing like pure, cooling spring water. Sunrise's Water Company derives their water in the heart of Geauga County, but they're more than just water. From the same company you know for great water, they also provide water softener salt, filters, and all water treatment services, including delivery, installation, and maintenance. Visit Sunrise Springs Water Company at sunrisespringswater.com or call 440-564-9743. Find them on Facebook and Twitter. Sunrise Springs Water Company, more than just water. Welcome back, everybody. We're at Mama Roberto's in Menor on Menor Avenue, just a little bit east of Route 615. So if you're in the area, stop on by. 
We're in the uh, brand new, not too old at all, the party center part of Mama Roberto's. It's a beautiful area, and, you know, the restaurant's been here for a while and, of course, keeps getting better and better every single day, and uh, the reputation keeps getting better and better in the area. Now you can have your party here or your function, whatever it might be, event, and they'll cater it for you on-premise or off-premise. So Mama Roberto's, the best in the area. Come on by. Not just tonight, but any night, and check it out. You'll like what you hear. And eat, that's for sure. Today's program is brought to you in part by DW Goods, by Pepco, by Clemens Construction, Matrix Tool and Machine, Mentor Family Foods, Forenza Stone, Judy Moran running for commissioner, and by Kramer Printing. We're talking right now with Coach Eric Poggi and the Lady Rangers from East Lake North. And John, before we had to take a break, you were talking to the coach a little bit about and way of playing and uh yeah i i was uh eric had mentioned that he's running a 6-2 this year and and do you in, in practice do you generally limit those setters to the ones that are going to be in there to the hitters that are going to be in there when that particular setter is in there or do you kind of mix and match and have them get used to both uh we develop our practice so that we do a little bit of both uh, when we're doing system stuff we try to keep them in system with their normal rotation who they've been actually setting with but the beginning part of the practice, we try to have a lot of variety where, again, if we need to adjust the line, it's not something that's brand new. It's the more they rep, rep it, the more they go through it, the more success they can have. And just one last thing before I get back to Ray here. How, how many, do, do you have backup setters besides the two that you're running on the, on the varsity level? Uh, we always bring the best JV setter with us just in case as an emergency player. Um, have not needed her yet this year, but have her on the bench just in case. Always helps if someone goes down. If we need to adjust, both setters this year have been through a game where they've had to run a 5-1 for one reason or another. So we have options just in case. Very good. That was great. Well, you brought them in back. Is this the whole varsity, perhaps? Uh, this is kind of um, we're missing two or three. Of them. Okay, because you got about ten ladies. So let's go quickly, starting with the young lady here who wears number one, at least on her pink shirt, and she will be number one tonight. Hi. Yes. Your name? Samantha Selecki. And great. I am a senior. And position? Libero. Okay, and girls, we'll start with those three things. Okay, Ranger. name, grade, position. All right, and you're that one that goes out there anytime you want. I am. And you must enjoy it. you got a smile on your face. Yes, I love it. What's the best part of it? If someone had to say, why do you like that position? Because um, I get to dive around a lot. <laughs> and dive on the floor. Okay? <laughs> yep. A good one, I understand, doesn't stand on their feet too much. <laughs> uh, if they are, they must be super good, right? Yep. That's, that's tremendous. Well, we're going to cut the questions just a bit because we've got such a large gathering. So a couple of key questions, like, first of all, biggest influence on your sport? Um, definitely my parents. Both supportive? Yes, both very supportive. For a long time? Yes. How long have you been playing volleyball? I've been playing J.O. since I was eight. Eight. And now you're yeah. 18? I'm 17, yeah. yeah. Well, almost 10 years. Yep. Awesome. Most memorable moment on a volleyball court? Um, probably last year when I beat my record, I had 55 digs in one game. Mm, in one game? In one match? One match. One match. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's very good. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Not that you are a senior. You got to look anything for next year and plans already? Um, I'm still looking at colleges. I don't think I'm going to play when I go to college, though. Okay. Let's take care of business with your school. Right? Yep. Sounds good. And three people that you would invite to dinner, past or present? Um... Well, probably my mom, One. my dad, Two. and Sigmund Freud. Whoa. Particular reason? Um, I love psychology. You know, he might be a first. I mean, you know, we always look for first. We've been doing yeah. this now about 10 years. And Sigmund Freud, Charlie, what do you think? You know who he is? Okay, we'll question you later. Nice job. Thanks. Okay, big money. I remember a couple years back when she first started. Charlie's talking about when this young lady was maybe a freshman or even before. So you've come a long way. Yeah, Ever. she started as a freshman. Started as a freshman. All right, you have come a long way. All right, who's next in the back there? Name, please. Hi, it's Molly Mauser. I'm a senior, and I play setter. Okay, and you were one that Coach mentioned, one of your two setters, right? Yeah. I've uh, been setting for a while. Yeah, for a while. Uh, would, you know, I always ask people that are exclusively setters, do you miss, like, Mashing the ball once in a while? Or? No, no, not at all. It's your no. job. You know, the quarterback, right? And it's a very important position, as the hitters are, as everyone is. But 
uh, if, if you really play in that position well and have pride in it, it's a key spot, as you well know. Yeah. Great. Uh, how about memorable moment so far? Um, Particular match or something you did? or the, the, They're I'm, all memorable. Yes, they're all memorable. They're all good. There you are. <laughs> that's, that's what the coach wants to hear, not just one. Uh, how about uh, bucket list? Something you'd like to do that you haven't yet? Um, for my 18th birthday, I'm going skydiving with my mom. You are going. So we had a couple that said they'd like to. You're going to do it. <laughs> and that's uh, coming up soon? No, next year. Oh, next year. It's all right. It's soon. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. And three people coming to dinner at your place. I'd bring my mom, my dad, and my grandma. Grandma. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Next we have... Hi, I'm Allie Guy, Allie? and I'm a senior, and I play outside hitter. Outside hitter, okay. Biggest influence on your volleyball so far? Um, my parents. Both, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Most memorable moment on the court? Um, beating South last year. Beating South last year, and that's, yep. of course, coming up tomorrow night, I understand, right? Yep. Where's the first one at? It's at North tomorrow. At North, and then later on at South. Great. Um, how about uh, senior, right? Do you have any plans for next year yet, for sure, or? No, I'm not playing volleyball. That's for, what about for school? Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Next going to one out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to school at CSU. Okay, great. Yeah. Graduate. <laughs> under and over. Okay. <laughs> How about uh, pe people coming to dinner? Um, my parents and my boyfriend. That's right. Okay. <laughs> hey, nice to remember. You might be listening. <laughs> might be listening. I'll slip them in there. Good. 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 Good luck to you, dear. Thank you. Let's let John do a few questions here. Oh, no. Name, name and class? Um, I'm Sarah Crick, and I'm a senior, and I'm a right side. Okay, and you've been playing for Coach Poggi now for four years. What's your favorite memory of practice with Coach Poggi? Wait, what? Your favorite, your favorite moment or your most memorable moment at practice with Coach Poggi? Be careful now. <laughs> Because practices are different in matches, right? Coats are a little bit different right. in right. front of the crowd than they might be in practice, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> how, about a, how about a game memory? Um, I don't know, beating South, I guess. Well, that's probably the standard answer for, uh, for everybody. Uh, why don't you give it, give it, give it to the next, next person? Your name and class? Casey Bacheca. I'm a senior, and I play DS. And uh, what... what you, you can't answer Willoughby South. What's your favorite moment playing in a match for uh, East Lake Park? Um, I'm not really sure because South was pretty good. <laughs> Especially the night before, John. I mean, well, I think they're thinking of one team only right well, now. I, I, I guess, uh, I, I guess uh, Coach likes the focus of the girls uh, for tonight. Um, what do you have planned for college next year? Are you going to go to college? Um, I'm still looking at where I want to go, but I'm not sure yet what I want to do. Okay, well, good luck. Good luck to you tomorrow night. Thank you. Move it to the back. You're up. Hi, I'm Krista Vogel, and I'm a sophomore, and I'm a DS. <laughs> you, uh, how much, is this your first year on varsity this year? Yeah. And, and and how are things how are things going with your teammates this year? It's good. We're all really close, so it's very nice. Yeah. Do you uh, do, do do you have anything that you want to tell us about Coach Poggi and maybe what he does in practice that would interest the listeners out there? What was the question? <laughs> well, let, let me tell you this: when 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 my daughter was, I think, thirteen, playing for Coach Poggi in junior Olympic volleyball for East Side. I was at a, a, a match, and the coach was a little irritated of, with the play, he called a timeout, and took his clipboard and smashed it right in front of the girls. Now, has he ever done that in your practices or your games? Well, yeah, but it's, yeah, but it's not like anything serious. I think he just does it. It's a habit, I guess. Well, he's, uh, he's one of the most calm guys I've ever met and I've ever seen coach. So yeah. I think he probably does things for effect. So, well, good luck with uh, It'll Be South tomorrow. Thank you. There's times when you need an attention getter once in a while. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got it. I'm Stephanie Kravda. I'm a junior. And I'm a middle. And Stephanie, tell me, tell me when, you're, when you uh, are out there playing and, and you're 
you're running this offense that, that is the 6-2. Do you prefer that, or would you prefer if it were a 5 one? Um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. As long as that, that, that set is right there a little bit above the net so you can put it down. Right? Yes. <laughs> and you said you're a junior this year? Yeah. Did you, is this your first year on varsity? No, I was on last year, too. And, and do you think uh, that the team is going to be better this year well, and no, is going to is going to go farther this year than last year's team? Um, I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> well, we'll find out starting tomorrow. Huh? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Kelly Lang. I'm a junior and I play outside. Now, is it is it true, Kelly, that uh, that you're the most talkative person on your team? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I would have thought you got that trait from your mother, but oh. you, know, not, uh... you would think. <laughs> so how how is the season going for you so far this year? It's going pretty good. Yeah. And what's the outlook for tomorrow night? What? What's the outlook for tomorrow night's <laughs> game against South? I think we're going to win. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thanks. Moving up front again. Oh, <laughs> hello. Hi, what's your name? Um, my name is Mikhail Biscotti. I'm a sophomore, and I'm outside. And how has your season gone so far this year? It's going pretty well. <laughs> and, and I would imagine with, with at least one of your setters here that you haven't had a bad set all season yet, right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> good, good answer if you want to get uh, some yeah, more so opportunities. Treat the setters with kid gloves, you know. What, uh, how does this team compare to, to last year's team, do you think? Um, um. <laughs> stronger? I mean, weaker? Stronger? I think it is stronger. Stronger? Yeah. Overall? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Could be honest there. We're telling the truth. Uh, okay. We got time for one more, one last player here. Hi, I'm Jen Huffgard. I'm a junior and I'm a setter. Okay, so we have, we have two perfect setters here tonight, right? Yeah, now, now, I now, guess. Let, let me ask you this: when when you when you put set up there on the net, either for the middle or the outside, those sets are always right on, right? Of course. And if they complain about it, it's their fault, not yours, right? Yeah. Okay, good answer. <laughs> yeah. That's the mentality of a setter, right? Well, you know. Better be. Yeah. You got that good pass and good set, and it's up to the hitters to finish it off, right? Of course. Okay. Any predictions on tomorrow night? That we're going to try our hardest and win. That's good, especially the first part, because if you do that, you're a winner, no matter what yeah. the final score is, huh? Yeah. Oh, great. Anybody we missed? Awesome. No. Coach, as always, you got a great bunch. Uh, they play like their coach, always hard, always good sports, and uh, usually come out on top. So continued success. Tomorrow's a big one, but there's a lot more after that, too. So. Yeah, it's still the beginning of the picture right now. Absolutely. Well, good luck. Thanks a lot, Ray. East Lake North Thanks Rangers, so let's serve for those ladies and their coaches. Don't forget, you're going to go over there and sign the banner, if you will. Banner's got a lot of spots right now, but take a look at that banner after about the first of the year, and you start looking for a place to sign your name. And walking up to our feature table right now, the Menor Cardinal Volleyball Squad, and they're well represented tonight, as always. So step on up. Coaches, coaches' seat is right here to the left of John. And uh, once again, we'd like to remind you, you're listening to Mondays with Malta. We're live from Mama Roberto's tonight. Plenty of time to stop on by. More than an hour left of our show. And get yourself some great Italian food, either to eat here or take out. And and, and enjoy this. So look at this. Charlie's loaded up. He's got his favorite. Uh, and take a look at this great party room. Really, the last time we did a show from here, a uh, year or two back, we were in the other, the regular restaurant part, and that's a nice place to eat too. But boy, they've expanded, and I'll tell you what, a uh, r- lot of room here. You can have a party, a special event, uh, any occasion. And uh, again, they do a great job of catering off premise, but now you can come right here, and they'll do everything for you, including including clean up, and that's always a big part of any party. Well, big group here from the Menor Cardinals with their coach, Aaron Nutter. Aaron, how are you? 
Good. How are you? Good, good. And you've been with uh, Mentor now, now more than one year. How long has it been? It would be the second year. Second coach. year. That's more than one. That is more than one. And what about the second year? I mean, obviously, you came after some, uh, well, of course, Coach Woodman, who had been there forever and, and a, 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 a legend in his own right, deservedly so, and great success. And now you come in, and uh, last year, now this year, you feel a little more comfortable as a head coach? Sure. Yeah? It's I mean... A- so everything's always easier the second time around. That's right. And how was your first year? Good. Good. We met our goals of winning the district last year. There you go. So we did that, and that was what we were striving to do. Okay. And what about the league uh, as far as how you played in the league? We came in fourth in the NOC last year. Uh, this year I'm hoping to do better. Stowe and Hudson are a big competition. In that for, league in and NOC. always have been. And state powers, too. Yep. Yeah, big great. D1 schools. What kind of team you look, you got this year as far as senior, junior, sophomore? We have one senior mm. and a bunch of juniors and some sophomores. Wow. And there are 16 of them sitting here. Okay. So there's that, a lot of potential the right team. in front of you. Okay. And, of course, you've got a JV, a freshman program. Mm-hmm. How we about have two your, freshman teams. How about your other coaches um, who help you out? I have Coach Erica Soder. Um, she played at Mentor, too. We actually played together for Mr. Woodman. Okay. Um, Parker is her maiden name. Brianne right. Martoni. And then Trisha Kansian is our JV coach. Great, great. And, of course, middle schools all have. And we have two, yep, a team, at, two teams at each middle school and mm. two freshman teams as well. Nice feeder system, huh, John? Well, it's, it's better to have more, you know, two rather than one, so. It works out well for you. And everyone's competing and being aggressive, varsity through freshmen. So that's always good to see in the matches. Great. What what, uh, what do you think the key is to to a successful season this year, Coach? Staying healthy. We've had a lot of injuries since the beginning of the year here. Mm -hmm. And so we're just trying to figure out how to be healthy and give it everything we've got. Well, working hard because that's fine line that we have to walk. And, and how many players are you are you generally playing in your normal rotations? Uh, nine, ten. We have a lot of DS front row players and uh, specialty players, front row setters or back row setters, front row players going in. So it's a lot of people can contribute all the time. And what uh, so far this this season? How are you guys doing so far? We're two and four right now. Um, we haven't been. Thursday, our past match was the first time we were full strength with everyone playing. Mm. So we're, I'm looking forward to this week to see what will happen. Uh, we, take, we have Cuyahoga Falls and Twinsburg, and hopefully it will be a good week for us. And then next week leads into the power tournament. So hopefully we'll be full strength, ready to see what we can do competing against some of the best teams in the state. And that's always one of the top tournaments in the state, right? Yes. The power tournament? Yes. And, and you host that, right? We host it. It'll, yep. Ne- it's not this weekend, but next weekend. You want to see top volleyball in the area? That's the place to be, no question. It, no matter when you walk in, any, that's the yeah, thing. any time or day, especially with the pools. There's a wide range how the seating will come in this week from the coaches, and we will um, see who everyone gets to play right awesome. off the bat. That's great. You mentioned that uh, you've got the, the the one senior this year. What what are the the ones below the, the uh, juniors and sophomores? How are they experience wise with varsity volleyball? Um, a lot of our juniors played last year as sophomores. So in that aspect, with us being young last year, a lot of kids did see playing time. So some, even though they are only juniors, still saw the floor. Um, and then we're gaining more experience every day with our sophomores so that they will be able to carry that on when they are juniors as well. Tremendous. Well, thank you for bringing all these ladies. Now let's meet them. And they're smiling at you. And we're going to start with the senior. We're going to start with the lone senior. You're going to tell us your name. We know you're a senior. And what position do you play? I'm Jackie Ritt, and I'm an outside hitter. Okay. And you've been varsity two years? Three years. Three years. Okay. And uh, let's see, three years, two different coaches, correct? Yes. Uh, how's coach doing this year? A little more calm, maybe? A little more? Yeah, she's doing great. <laughs> Learn from the last year's season? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it's tough. You know, you, you take that, first of all, a program like yours, a high-powered program, you come in with people before you that, you know, have been very successful, and you want to be successful, and she was, and you guys were, but it takes a while, a little adjustment period. And I think she did a great job, and you guys helped her. So that's that's tremendous. What's the uh, most memorable moment for you? You've been around for a while. Um, I'm going to say qualifying for nationals when I was 14. Mm, and that's like J.O.? Yeah. Okay, where did you end up playing? 
Um, we played at Miami. Florida. Okay, wow. And how'd you do in that tournament? Um, we ended up 12th in the nation, so we actually did really good. Tremendous. Okay. And that, that's special, isn't it? I mean, yeah. especially at a younger age, it's, uh, let's say, a small-time Olympics, isn't it? Yeah. How about Olympic? you watch it this uh Oh, yeah, for sure. Is that a dream of yours, maybe? What? Dream of yours, maybe? Um, It used to be, but, I mean, it's not it, really realistic it happens anymore. To, yeah, okay, you're being realistic. How about the question we like to ask three people coming to dinner at your house? Okay. Past or present? My girl, Marty. Okay. Um, my friend, Kyle, and my friend, Robbie. Good. Three Sounds like three good friends. Yep. Good. Good luck to your senior year. Thank you. Pass it along, please. Next we have? Hi, I'm Megan Warmino, and I'm a junior, and I'm a setter. Setter. Okay. And you second year of varsity? First year. First year. Yep. And last year you played JV? Yes. Okay. Having fun? Yep. Goal of yours to be a varsity player at Mentor? Yeah, it's exciting. And you made it. Great. Uh, most memorable moment for you? Um, probably just my first high school match. It was really exciting for me to actually be in the high school and be playing with yeah. everyone. Did you, as a middle school player, did you go to a lot of matches and kind of visualize yourself being out there? Or? Yeah. Yeah. I was really excited to come up to the high school and play with everyone. Great. I like to hear that because sometimes people will say, well, you know, it happened and I'm happy, but I didn't really like want to do it. I think it's neat to say, hey, I'm a sixth grader, man, I want to play middle school, then I want to play maybe JV, and then I want to play varsity. Mm -hmm. It's great. Any plans of maybe playing beyond high school? Um, I've thought about playing at college, but I'm not really sure if I want to yet or not. Got Still time. deciding. Got time. And how about three people coming to dinner? Um, I'll probably take my mom and my two grandmas. Two grandmas. Great. Terrific. Yep. Share, share it both sides of the family. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And good You're luck. Welcome. Next we have. I'm Taylor Garbiso, and I play middle. Middle. And you're great? School? Oh, sophomore. Sophomore. Okay. So first year of varsity, or did you play as a freshman? Um, well, I dressed at, like, the end of the year last year. You got a little taste of it, but now yeah. you're playing. Yeah. That's better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A memorable moment in your two years or one year of playing? Uh, it probably had to be last year, the district final game, when I got put in at the right side, and I just totally messed up. Mm. <laughs> But you know what? You remember that, right? Yeah. So if it happens, well, this year you get put in, you're going to make up for it. Yeah. But great experience. You don't mess up, you learn more from. For sure, yeah. Yeah, you really do. I know you don't want to mess up, but it happens, right? Yeah. Okay, I know you'll do better. Um, how about a uh, career goal, something you want to do after high school? Uh, I haven't really thought about Too that. Too early yet? <laughs> yeah. yeah some people say, oh, I want to be a nurse. I definitely want to, you know, you don't really have that. No, uh, not yet. Not too early. Just enjoy yourself, okay? Yeah. And three people coming to dinner. Uh, probably my mom, my friend Taylor, and Justin Bieber. <laughs> All right. Get, get a celeb in there. You might pick up the tab. You know? Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Good luck. Next we have. Um, I'm Mackenzie Trubiano. I'm a junior, and I'm a DS, I guess. Specialist, okay, good, good, yeah. good. You get to hit it once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You, you serve? Yes. Oh, that, that's a big part of it. Uh, when people hear that DS, sometimes they think, well, that, that young lady never serves. That doesn't necessarily mean that, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about memorable moment for you? Um, it was probably at this year's scavenger hunt when we got um, all of our cars painted. Painted? Wow. Yeah. I hope, I hope with paint that came off. I mean, yeah. good watching. Okay, that sounds all right. <laughs> Something to remember. And how about coming to dinner at your house? Um, I would want to take Channing Tatum, um, Taylor Lautner, and probably Jessica Alba. Okay. I really like You're her. You're going big time. Yeah. Hey, what the heck? Go big time. Next, please. Hi. <laughs> Name. I'm Rachel Romando. And great. I'm a DS and I'm a junior. Junior. Okay. Uh, thing you remember most so far of uh, something you learned from being in high school so far might not have to do with volleyball. Um, time man management for sure with volleyball. Okay. And of course, you're going to hear and you've already heard the next level. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Time management, especially if you're playing a sport in college, which is uh, to me almost <laughs> next to impossible to do. Yeah. But time management, right? Uh, coming to dinner at your place? Um, <laughs> Coach K. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, my boyfriend and my dad. Nice mix. <laughs> Coach K, boyfriend and dad. That's going to be good. And we'll get one more in here. We're at the top of the hour, but go ahead, Darren. Name? Uh, I'm Miranda Tribiano. And? I'm a junior, and I'm a outside slash right side yeah. slash DS. <laughs> A lot of splashes in there. Okay. Yeah. That means versatility. Yeah. Excellent. Having a good year so far? Yep. Enjoying it? Yes. Good. Hey, Miranda, I have a, or just a quick question for you before we go to this break. Who's better, you or Jenna? Me. Okay. Of course. Oh. All right, I'll, I'll let her know that. Not much as You let her know. <laughs> Any relation to the Trubianos from, say, Willoughby South? Yeah. Somewhere. My dad went there, yeah. Okay, great, great. And who are you bringing to dinner? James Franco. Cinderella and Willy Wonka. Okay, we did a little bit of variety there. Thanks, honey. Well, we are at the top of the hour. We're only halfway through, folks, so if you're in the area, it's still time to stop by. Uh, right here, live at Mama Roberto's Mondays with Malta. The main man, Charlie's here, enjoying some of that delicious Mama Roberto's food. I'm Ray Malavik along with John O'Donnell, and we hope you come back with us after this time out on AM 1330 WELW and WELW.com. Did you ever put in a new faucet and flood the kitchen? Or reverse the connections in your shower and hot was cold and cold was hot? Everyone has their own plumbing horror story. But no matter what plumbing story you have, Tom Schaefer Plumbing can fix your drip or disaster. For over 80 years, Tom Schaefer Plumbing has been your trusted plumber with reliable service. Because accidents happen. Call Tom Schaefer Plumbing, 440-602-7300. 602-7300. Are you an honorably discharged veteran of the Armed Forces of the United States? Do you know you may be entitled to benefits or financial assistance through the Lake County Veterans Service Office? Do you need help filing a claim with the VA? The Lake County Veterans Service Office exists only to serve the county's veterans and is not part of the Department of Veterans Affairs. Please register with our office today. Hours are 8 a.m. to noon and 1 to 4.30 p.m. weekdays. Call 350-2567. That's... 3502567 call today there's nothing more beautiful than a tree full of red, orange, yellow, brown, and even a few green leaves. And there's nothing more frustrating than a lawn full of leaves yelling at me to pick them up before being buried under the snow, devastating my perfect lawn. So I call George Ward and his crew for a fall cleanup better than I can do myself. With Wards, you stop working and stop worrying. Visit WELW.com or call 440-942-1912. No work, no worries. Wards. I remember the moment. Remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. Several of us were working to rescue a family. The house collapsed on top of the cellar door and trapped them. Patsy's Humvees and heavy machinery to move massive trees and debris. We got them out. We helped a lot of people out. It felt good to know I could really make a difference. Because I'm a citizen soldier in the National Guard. Be there the moment your community needs you. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Ohio National Guard. Aired by the Ohio Association of Broadcasters in this station. In today's market, you really need an experienced real estate team who knows how to make things happen. Like the experts at Asa Cox Homes, who were able to handle 315 transactions in 2011. But hey, don't take my word for it. Take theirs. The best decision I made was to list my house with Asa Cox Homes. We are so glad we called Asa. We couldn't have done it without her. Working with Asa Cox and her team is a wonderful experience. If you're looking to buy a house sometime in the near future, I would definitely recommend Asa Cox. Asa did everything she said she would do. We felt so comfortable like we were part of her family. I would highly recommend using the Asa Cox selling team. They really know their stuff. I am so excited. My wish came true. When it comes to buying a home, you need to call Asa Cox Homes. Asa Cox rocks. Isn't it time your wishes came true? Call Asa Cox Homes today at 440-639-0002. Cross Country Mortgage Inc. 1505 Madison Avenue, Painesville, Ohio. 44077 under MB number 8030 Company ID number 3029. Now available on your cell phone at TuneIn.com, W-E-L-W, Willoughby, Eastlake, Cleveland. And welcome back, everybody. I'm Ray Malavik, Charlie's sidekick, and it is Mondays with Malta, just starting our new season here on AM 1330, W-E-L-W and W-E-L-W.com. Glad to have you with us. We're live from Mama Roberto's tonight. 
And for the next uh, several Mondays, we're going to be different places around the area. And we hope you can join us live or at least tune us in either on the radio or on the the Internet at WLW.com. Tonight, it's volleyball night brought to you in part by D&W Goods, by Pepco, by Clements Construction, Matrix Tool and Machine, Mentor Family Foods, Forenza Stone, Kramer Printing, and Judy Moran, who's running for commissioner uh, on November the 6th. Remember the name Judy Moran. Okay, next up, we're dealing with the Mentor Cardinals here, and we have who? Savannah Austin. Savannah is what grade? I'm a junior. And position? Um, I'm like a right side and a setter, but I played outside a little bit this year. So again, variety, a little versatility. Uh, season going fine for you so far? Yeah, it's going good. You have a personal goal you may have set this year for yourself? Um, I want to just improve overall. Get better than you have been? <laughs> yeah. You don't want to stay where you're at. Right, I want to get better. Excellent. And how about, uh, we're going to be select there with questions. How about uh, the one about uh, bucket list? Something you'd like to do that you haven't done yet. Um, I want to go zip lining in Costa Rica. Whoa, now that's a new one. <laughs> Quick explanation. It just seems fun. Well, what is it? <laughs> oh, it's just when you like go. I want to go across like a valley um, between like a big, I don't know, a whole bunch of trees and a forest. And hey, in Costa Rica is where they have those, huh? Yeah. Okay, it's good though for me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Thanks, honey. Next we have Bethany Pike. And great. A uh, junior. And Out- outside hitter. Outside hitter. You get to smack it down. <laughs> like a slam dunk in basketball. That's right. <laughs> Uh, how about personal question like uh, something that you remember from volleyball so far, most memorable moment? Um, probably winning districts. That was really re- memorable. <laughs> big time going on yeah. the regional, and then you're that close to, you know, the, yeah. the big time. Yeah. Right? Okay. Maybe you'll get there yet, huh? What? Looking forward to getting oh, there. Yes. Oh, yes. beyond yeah. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and coming to dinner at your place, three people? Um, probably uh, Missy May. Uh, Forrest Gump <laughs> and Snooky. Ooh, that is a nice trio. An entertaining dinner. Yeah, I don't know if you'll eat much, but it'll be fun. Yeah. Thanks, honey. In the back now we go. Hi. Hi. Name? Rachel Britton. Great. Uh, I'm a junior. And position? I'm a right side hitter. Okay. Most of you in volleyball? Um, making varsity. Yeah, it was first year? Huh? Yeah. On the varsity. Great. Your time has come. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, coming to dinner, your place? Um, Roan Dog, Noonan, and Savage. Good. <laughs> Good. Have fun. <laughs> Next we have. I'm Megan Maroney. Megan, you are ju- a junior. You're in position. Middle hitter. Middle hitter. And again, do you have a uh, most memorable moment that you um, can spit I would this out? Definitely say winning districts last year. Big, it's a big accomplishment. It definitely is, especially in your division. Big yeah. time. Uh, yeah. How about uh, coming to dinner? Um, my pop pop, my uncle Daryl, and those two um, came pretty easy. Oh, and Ranters. All right, <laughs> a little prodding there, but that's like that's good. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck to you. <laughs> Moving right along. Hi, I'm Rachel Schultz, and I'm a sophomore, and I'm a setter. Okay, great. Uh, you said junior. Sophomore. Sophomore, right. Because you've got a couple big years yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Most memorable moment so far? Um, playing my first varsity game. And that was? The, yeah. And kind of got a little jitters, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they go away fast, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you better. Or you won't be out there very long. <laughs> How about uh, bucket list? Something you'd like to do. You know, you got a lot of years um, yet. I'm going to go skydiving. That used to be a popular choice. Somebody said they're going to do it on their 18th birthday, so that's not too far away. Yeah. Enjoy it. Okay. Enjoy volleyball, too. Next we have? Uh, hi, I'm Jess Loptek. I'm a sophomore, and I'm a DS. Okay. Boy, you got quite good balance. Well, you said seniors, juniors. You got it all, right? One senior, yeah. How about uh, most memorable moments so far? Uh, my freshman year, when I, we were playing a game, I got attacked by all the seniors and juniors, but I stayed strong and didn't get kicked out. <laughs> wow. That, that's so, hey, that is a lesson in Close. life, huh? Lesson in life. Great job. 
<laughs> How about coming to dinner? Your place? Uh, Schultzy, DJ J. Riddy. The senior <laughs> uh, gets invited. Unlucky Brian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> unlucky, did you say? Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll leave it at that. Next we have? Um, I'm Nicolette Newton. I'm a sophomore, and I'm a middle slash right side hitter. Okay, do a little of both. Uh, how about for you, uh, something you like to do, you have a career kind of in mind? Um, I want to be like something in like the hospital. Medical I just don't, field. Yeah, I just don't know what yet. All right, hey, great area, great area to get into. Uh, coming to dinner at your place? Um, Guppy, Schultze, and um, Jane. Jane? Yeah. Oh, teammate? What? Is that a teammate? A demon? <laughs> teammate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. She's coming up. Okay, next. Let's talk to her. Next. Is this Jane? Hi. I'm Jane Lavar. I'm a junior, and I play DS. And you're going to dinner at her house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> what about your uh, most memorable moment so far? My most memorable moment was probably my freshman year when I got to play in a varsity game. Big time. Yeah, you'll never forget that, I don't think. Uh... How about uh, coming to dinner for you? Um, probably my mom, my great grand, and my grandma. Your great grandma's alive? Yeah. God bless you. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thank you. Next. Hi. Hi. I'm Casey Golick. I'm a freshman and I'm an outside hitter. Okay. Freshman on the varsity. So you didn't play freshman ball. You didn't play JV ball. You just went up to the varsity. Yeah, yeah what the heck? It happens to everybody, right? <laughs> they wish. Uh, you're enjoying it, I assume? Enjoying what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, good. How about uh, favorite subject in school? Well, we're going to change the course a little bit here. Math. Math. Yeah. That's good. You think you might develop some interest in that later on, like be an accountant or a bookkeeper or whatever? No. No. <laughs> Just do well now. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And coming to dinner at your house. Um, Noonan, Mondo, and Roan Dog. Keep it in the team. Great. Next, yeah. please. I'm Leah Casella. I'm a junior, and I'm a setter. And are you related to the athletic director? Yes, I am. He's your dad. Yes, that's my dad. And Grandpa was the previous one. What was that? And Grandpa was the previous one. Yeah, my one. Grandpa was the one of Do you have any interest in being an athletic director? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Keep it in the family. Uh, how about most memorable moment for you, Derek? My first ever block, because it doesn't happen very often. Yeah, that's a big one. And you get one, and it really uh, kind of like that slam dunk feeling. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Tell, say hello to your dad. He was His first day on the job, he was a guest on our show when he got the job. It was big time. Is that everybody? All right. Well, Coach, you got a great group as always. A lot of smiles. Let's hope they stay that way and uh, keep smiling in uh, October or so. That means you're still alive in the tournament. And Let's hope so. We'll be following you. Smiles till November. There you go. Let's hear it. Men are Cardinals. And their coach, Aaron Nutter. Awesome job. Ladies, you're going to go over and sign the banner. Make sure you uh, sign before you leave. And. We appreciate that. John, good show so far. Always is. We've got the... Uh, Always is with volleyball. Perennial power Gilmore coming up here. Gilmore coming up. Great. I believe they were new to our show last year. They seemed to enjoy themselves. And when they got invited this year, they came right back. So we're happy to have them. You are listening to Mondays with Malta on WELW, 1330 AM. We're live from Mama Roberto. Still have uh, more than 45 minutes to join us live, get some great food, either to eat here or take out, and uh, grab a menu while you're here so you can check it over and order uh, what you need the next time you're hungry for the great taste of Italian food. All right, Gilmore is here, and that means we've got head coach Kelly, and is it Coughlin or Coughlin? Coughlin. Coughlin. Okay, Kelly, and I believe you were with us last year, correct? We were. And you had another great season, didn't you? Yeah, uh, it was It was an okay season. Okay. <laughs> it could have ended a little better. If you don't win at all, sometimes you, you, 
it's not a great season. We're tired of being good losers. There you go. It, that, that is, uh, you know, it gets to you after a while. <laughs> it's nice to say you're there and you're knocking on that big door, but well, very nice to get through it. You're right. Absolutely. We want to kick it in this year. Well, how's things going right now? Uh, it's a different year. We're very young. Uh, zero seniors, nobody in the program. So we've got a lot of girls who have made the trip in the past and are as tired as I am of going down there and coming up a little short. So the team to beat is uh, we'll have to face on the first day. We're undefeated on first day, so we're looking forward to uh, playing Miami East one more time and seeing if we can get over that hurdle. Awesome. What, uh, you mentioned that you don't have any seniors this year. How many seniors did you have playing last year? Uh, seven last year and seven the year before, so we've graduated 14 in two years. And and the, and the, the, the girls that are sitting here before us, did, did they were contributors last year to, to, to your team? Yeah, everybody sitting here right now is a part of it. Um, we've been, this group, this is finally my team. Um, everybody here came when I came. So this is the first year at Gilmore that this is a, a, a program that I control. As a matter of fact, I have a brand new AD. Uh, Jeff Walridge came in. He just won a state title in North Carolina for wrestling. So he's hungry for state championships all across the board at Gilmore. So he's pushing this group real hard. Now, Gilmore is an independent school, correct? Correct. And what do you what do you do? You know, you obviously the end of the road is where you want to be, standing up there on the podium. What do you do, and how do you schedule yourself to get there? Well, we have an advantage over everybody else. We're not in a conference, so we don't have to try to gear up what we do early on to win a conference championship. Instead, we can design a schedule that lets these guys get pushed and tested tournament-wise. Uh, this weekend. We played in a meat grinder. It was just absolutely unbelievable the amount of talent out at Kenston. Lake was there. We were there, Padua. It was the who's who of Northeast Ohio. So we can go into matches like that without any risk. Uh, there's just a lot of reward. You play, play real, real strong competition, get yourself ready for the end of the year, and then see if you can you know, get on a wave and ride it to the end. And what other tournaments do you have scheduled this year? Um, we've toned down on the tournaments. We, we've picked up uh, a lot of really strong uh, uh, dual matches we'll be playing against. Uh, we picked up Stowe this year. Kenston got added. Um, and then the last tournament we do have will be our own tournament. We host at Gilmore on the 13th, I think it is. And we'll be playing. Uh, Solon comes in for that. Beaumont, who's really strong this year, comes in for that. We're there. Avon Lake, who was a regional uh, finalist last year for Division One. They're coming to the tournament. So we're going to end the season playing some really good teams. Now, when, you, when you're in these tournaments like that, you're playing best out of three, correct? Uh, uh, on the weekends, yeah. When you're yeah. playing, it, that's that, it's a tougher way to play because there's more upsets in those matches. Um, anybody can win the first two, as we found out last year. Had it been a best of three, we would have never got to make the state trip because we faced Dalton in the regional finals, and we lost the first two games. Now, do, do you see an advantage to in those tournaments where you're playing best of three as to tougher duels that are best of five? Yeah, the advantage is uh, it's all mental focus. You have to go in. You have to be sharp. You can't give away a point here, a point there, because in, in a best of three format, you could lose quickly. So it helps you to, to kind of zero in, pinpoint, and try to come out of the gate really fast. And, hey, Coach, your division, you're not division one. We think we are. Well, I mean, according to the state. State thinks we're Division Three. We try to play all Division One. Well, because... I was just going to mention, everybody you mentioned is certainly Division One, And uh, I'm not going to say that makes it easier than when you get into your tournament. But it's certainly, when your girls in their mind know you've beaten this, 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 this program who are Division One, it's got to be that confidence that when they take the floor... This, this group doesn't see divisions. This group sees teams. Okay. When they go out there, they well, want to play. what I was leading. Yeah, they want, to be, they want to be the best team in the state of Ohio. Um, that's our goal every year is to be the, the best team. So we set that goal and we go after it. You know, this year we'll have a hard time arguing that. We've gotten beat by a couple of teams, including uh, my little brother. Um, but, you know, in our minds, by the time the season comes to an end, when we're done, we're ready, we're ready to say, you know, we're going to be the best team. And before we get to the girls, you mentioned your brother. It's a family thing. He's where at? He's at Kenston High School. So they beat you. <laughs> I'd like to say we, we ran out of games to play. Uh, okay. All right. No. Maybe in a best of seven, we would have got him. But in a best of five, you got us. They got us. They got you guys. Okay. Little brother. Big years in difference or year in difference? Or? Uh, four. Okay. Younger brother. Yeah. Good. Well, you got a chance to get maybe... Later on. 
Yeah, yeah. I'll get him again. You'll year. get him again. We we'll get him. All right, let's start with the ladies. Got five here tonight, and start like we've been doing. Name, grade in school, and position. Uh, Megan Pollock. I'm a sophomore. I go to Gilmore Academy, and I'm the setter. You're the setter. Okay. Hang in there. Got a couple questions. Uh, so far in the season, going the way you like it. I mean, everybody uh, getting um, along, and, and so far injury free. That's always important. To be honest, I wasn't quite sure to expect of this season. So um, just from this standpoint, I think it's going pretty well. I mean, there's always room for improvement. But right now, I think it's going much better than it could have been. So I'm happy about that. Great. And without a lot of seniors, uh, oh, yeah. you never know what's going to happen, really. It'll be an interesting year. Great. I like that. Interesting. Thank you. Next, please. Josie Sheehan. I'm a sophomore, and I'm a DS. She's okay. also the birthday girl. Today? Yes. Today. Same Happy girl. birthday. Thank girl. you. <laughs> Age? Uh, 15. See, when you're 15, 16, just say it. Yeah. When you're like 39, 40, you go, ah, oh, let's skip that. <laughs> you got a lot of years. Uh, having fun? Yep. Yeah? Did you play varsity last year? Yes, I did. So a little bit, you got the taste of it. Mm -hmm. Now you're more of an integral part. That's good. Uh, you heard the question we've been asking, if you could invite three people to dinner, past or present, you got it. Who would it be? Um, Liam Hemsworth, uh, Ariel from the Disney Princesses, and um, no, uh, Adam Sandler. Wow, I like to very laugh. good mix. Okay, that would be an intro. I'd like to listen in on that dinner. <laughs> Next, please. Hi, I'm Nicole Brzezowski. I'm a junior, and I'm the libero. Okay. One that goes out there anytime you want, or different uniform. You feel special being that? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you should be. That's a big, big responsibility. Uh, how about you? Any memorable moments so far in volleyball? Um, this is my third year playing varsity. I've been a varsity member since uh, my freshman year. Mm. So I've just been taking all through three years um, as it goes. I've been really enjoying yeah, the experience. Coach mentioned getting to going through that door, but now maybe this is your year. Well, here's hoping. That's what we're hoping. That's your goal, right? Yeah. Good. Good luck to you. Thank you. Got a beautiful smile. Keep that going. Thank you. This young lady I know from basketball. I had the privilege of doing their tournament. Are you having another tournament this year? Um, not at not at Gilmore. Not at Gilmore. No. Okay, that was pretty neat last year. It was a, uh, Coach Mitchell and I go way back. I used to announce for him, and then he asked me to come back this year. And that was a fun tournament. You were very good in it. Oh, thanks. But I understand maybe volleyball is your better sport. Is that true? Um, I mean, I enjoy both sports, but I mean, right now I'm focused on volleyball, and hopefully um, I'll commit to a volleyball for college. So that looks like what's going to be your future. Yep. Great. But I, I know you enjoyed yourself on a basketball court, too. So mm -hmm. it's probably hard to. How about a spring sport if you? You had to play what would be track? Or? No, 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 no spring. You no, need a break no. somewhere along. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's for volleyball, right? Spring. Yeah, spring's more volleyball, so I was doing that. Now it's year round, right? I mean, right. what about uh, next year, your plans? Um, next year, I mean, I'll be playing volleyball, both volleyball and basketball. Yeah. So I'll be on varsity for both those. And, okay. I mean, I hope I have a successful uh, senior year for both those sports. And you're going to have some universities to choose from i'm sure uh -huh, yeah hopefully i'll know um next couple months so sure you've been contacted and got things like some favorites in mind mm -hmm. um i mean my top two are probably the university of iowa and duke uh -huh. two good ones excellent <laughs> how about a major some field you're interested in um i'm not really sure on a major maybe something in the medical field I'm not sure terrific well good luck not only in this season but next time and Thanks. I like watching your great player. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Last but not least. Um, I'm Patricia Kalala. I'm a junior, and I play back row. Back row. Okay. And your uh, biggest influence on your volleyball so far? Um, I would just have to say the coaches, really. Like having, um, when they first came to Gilmore, they came our freshman year, and that was their first year. So it's been like a really great growing experience with them. Terrific. I'm glad people mention the coaches once in a while, okay? Not just because I've been one for a lot of years, but uh, they are influential, sometimes in a positive way, maybe sometimes in a negative way, but they're influential. Thank you for mentioning that. Well, Coach, another great group. I can see that. I, you know, I had the, the honor of coaching at Gilmore for about four years uh, with Jimmy D'Amato uh, when he had the softball program, and 
I enjoyed those years. You know, I'm coming from a public setting for 30 some. Uh, it was different. And I enjoyed it, and I really liked the kids. They were uh, special people, and I see why you win because you got special people. You know, Good luck to you. Well, thank you very much. All right, that's the ladies from Gilmore Academy. Let's have a nice round of applause for them. Once again, in the thick of things for premier team in the area, and we're going to move along now to Riverside, right? Painesville, Riverside, and their coach, Brandy Thomas. They're a new addition to Mondays with Malta, and we're glad to have them in their matching tops there, saying uh, Riverside Volleyball. Once again, you are listening to Mondays with Malta. I'm Ray Malavik, Charlie's sidekick, and my sidekick tonight, John O'Donnell, good friend of both Charlie's and myself, and no stranger to area volleyball, that's for sure. Uh, see him in a lot of, I had a lot of matches. Okay, we got the coach with us. Hello. And that's Brandy Thomas, correct? Correct. And how are you? Fabulous. How are you? I'm good. How many years you been there, Brandy? Uh, this is my second as head coach, but I've been there for five. Okay. So you started as what, JV maybe? Um, just assistant varsity. Okay. So you've been with the varsity program. Now that you're calling the shots, uh, something you kind of like looked forward to five, six, seven years ago? or Absolutely. It was definitely one of my goals to be a head coach someplace. So. Did, you, did you come from Riverside? No, I grew up in a small town in Medina County. Oh, so a different part of the area and yes. so forth. And what, do you teach at school? Yes, I'm What's, a high, high school math teacher there. Math teacher, okay. You know a dear friend of mine, maybe Spanish teacher named Miss Romano? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you have her for school? Okay, great. Very good friend of mine, excellent softball player. Um, how's things going at Paysville Riverside so far this year? Very, very good. The girls are um, playing really well together. They have a lot of good chemistry. Um, our record right now is 10 and 2, so mm -hmm. the girls are really impressing me this year. How about in the pack itself? We are 5 and 1 in the pack. Uh, the only team we've lost to so far was South, uh, and we see them again in, next week. So we're looking forward to that game, so hopefully we can get a win from them. And with South playing North tomorrow, somebody's going to lose that match. Exactly. Going to make things look, sounds like the league is going to be interesting right down to the last week. Absolutely. Terrific. Well, you've got a bunch of girls. Let's get to them, okay, All coach? right. And we'll start here, and we'll just go around one after the other, okay? Here's your mic. Just kind of hold it up close to you. Don't touch the bottom, okay? Hi. Hello. And your name is? Jess. And grade? I'm in 10th. And position? I'm DS, back row. And your last name? Merritt. Okay, Jess Barrett. Uh, obviously, first year on varsity? No, second. Second? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Got to be a big thrill. Yeah, it's exciting. Are you surprised with a 10 and 2 at this point, or you thought you'd be pretty good? I thought coming into it we'd be pretty good, but... 10 and 2 is a little better than pretty good. Yeah, it's good. But, but a lot of games to go. A lot of matches, yeah. right? One at a time. Uh, okay, we're limited to just a couple questions, so how about... Uh, Oh, how about uh, someone who's been influential on your volleyball, pushed you, to make you be the best you could be so far? Um, my parents, they want me to do this as I can, and myself, I push myself as... Good. Yeah. Play other sports? Uh, I used to play other sports, but just volleyball now. Concentrating on volleyball. Yeah. Seems to be the trend, too, right, John? Well, it's kind of the way that uh, the sport goes nowadays, where you're playing all year round, or maybe you're not playing when it comes to high school. So, yeah, different different day. Yep, it sure is. Things are changing for the better. Yeah. Thanks, Derek. Good luck. Thanks. Teammate is? I'm Alexis Parsons. Um, I'm a setter, and I'm a senior. Senior. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Varsity, two, three years. Um, two Last two year years. this year? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Uh, you like the position, setting? Yeah. The old cliche, but true, quarterback. I mean, you you make things happen. Yeah, I also have really good hitters and um, passers that give me the ball and um, put the ball down. Well, so say it's the right nice thing. thing. Like a quarterback would say, I got a good line and blah, blah, blah. Because they all, you got to work together. You yeah. Know. But you make it happen. Let's tell it like it is. How about a most memorable moment so far in volleyball? Um. Last year, our volley for the Cure game was pretty awesome. It was we 
one on a one-hander from Maggie Julius. <laughs> Against what team? West Yaga. Oh, good. So exactly. it was pretty exciting. Great. Well, uh, that, you spoke of the Volley for the Cure. That's a, a very popular event that most teams host now where they raise money for breast cancer and so forth and usually have shirts made up and what have you. And have you yeah. had yours yet this year? Or? No, ours is um, actually coming up on October 2nd. Okay. So, and we... We play Madison. Oh, great. So. so it'll be a nice match and hopefully a big crowd and, and raise some money. Yeah. Great. Well, we're going to take a short break because we're back. We'll talk to the rest of your teammates and you yet. So hang in there. Right. You're listening to Mondays with Malta from Mama Roberto's all on AM 1330, WELW and WELW.com. Need a sign that you're headed in the right direction? Just look for the new sign across from the News Herald in Willoughby. The Carpet Guy is offering first-time carpet buyers a good savings. Mention WELW and receive an extra 10% off your purchase. If you flip homes or own rental units, the Carpet Guy will beat the best carpet price. Call Mike Simon 440-796-9036 or visit the Carpet Guy across from the News Herald. The Carpet Guy, your new sign for a great deal. Why go to the Y? You can challenge yourself, indulge yourself, or have wonderful family fun. YMCA's pool offers aqua cardio challenge, deep water jogging, gym and swim, or silver splash for silver sneakers. Let your creativity flow with ballet for adults, creative story time for kids, or cooking magic classes. Get in physical and mental shape with Absolutions, a core workout for abdominals and lower back, yoga, meditation, Pilates and guts workout, or boot camps for sports and strength conditioning. Programs that build healthy spirit, mind, and body for everyone, visit lakeyymca.org. Dave Ramsey here. Folks, organizations are never limited by their opportunity. They're limited by their leaders. Are you ready to be the kind of leader people will want to follow? Then attend the Entree Leadership One Day Simulcast on September 21st, where I'll personally teach you what intentional leadership looks like. It doesn't matter who you are. This stuff is for everyone. This 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. seminar is Friday, September 21st at Mama Roberto's in Mentor. $39 registration includes lunch and materials. Register at WELW.com or 440-974-8500. Extension 11. It's truck season and Pat O'Brien Chevrolet has them. Over 860 trucks and every one is GM preferred price and you keep the rebates up to $8,000. Buy yours fast and easy at Pat O'Brien Chevrolet with four convenient locations. You'll find over 2,000 vehicles on sale at Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. Every car, every truck is GM preferred priced and you keep the rebates up to $8,000. Buy yours fast and easy at Pat O'Brien Chevrolet with four convenient locations. To quench your thirst, there's nothing like pure, cooling spring water. Sunrise Springs Water Company derives their water in the heart of Giaca County. But they're more than just water. From the same company you know for great water, they also provide water softener salt, filters, and all water treatment services, including delivery, installation, and maintenance. Visit Sunrise Springs Water Company at sunrisespringswater.com or call 440-564-9743. Find them on Facebook and Twitter. Sunrise Springs Water Company. More than just water. Every day, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps demonstrate their commitment to defend the American way of life. Since 1775, wherever the mission takes us, we honor the land we call home. As Marines, we take a stand for our nation, for us all. The few, the proud, the Marines. Welcome back, everybody, for our final half hour here for Mama Roberto. It's been a great show so far. We've got uh, the ladies side with us right now, and then we're going to wrap up with uh, the Lake Catholic uh, Cougars who are in the house, and, and you can hear them in the background. They're finishing up some uh, Mama Roberto's food, and they'll be up shortly. So stay with us. If you're still in the area, come on by. If you want to order some food, you may want to call up because they're closing the kitchen pretty soon, but... Uh, uh, great food here at Mom Roberto's, and uh, you got this great party room that we're broadcasting from tonight. This is a new addition where you can, uh, looks like 10, 20, 15 tables of eight, nine apiece. So, and by the way, ladies here and everybody listening, you can uh, get a copy of this broadcast so you can hear yourselves. And when you got th- six or seven grandkids down the line, you can say, hey, grandma was on the radio. And uh, you can get it on Facebook. All you can do there is put in Mondays with Malta and Ray Malavik, too. 
or mondayswithmalta.tumblr.com and on Twitter at Malta on Monday. So there's lots of ways now you can get uh, the broadcast here on AM 1330. Well, uh, we're talking to a new member of the team, and she is? Allie Lorick, and freshman. Freshman? Yeah. Position? <laughs> Outside. And varsity player? Yeah. Excellent. You must be pretty good. Coach uh, doesn't, are you the only freshman? No, Kylie. Oh, so you got a, a buddy with you, huh? Yeah. Okay, great. So last year playing middle school, and this yeah. year playing varsity in PAC. That's yeah. Pretty good, pretty good jump. Thank you. How's that going? I mean, you handling it pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, a little tougher than maybe you thought, or not so tough? Yeah, it's different from middle school. <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot more hitting, I would think. A yeah. A lot more and less mistakes. Right? Yes. Yeah, right. I'm a middle school coach, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Although we played well tonight. We're okay. Uh, how about the uh, most memorable moment so far? You've had 12 matches so far. Um, Probably winning the tournament, like, last weekend. And where was that at? <laughs> Um, Avon. Mm. Some good teams, and you won it. Yeah. That's a great memory. Coach is nodding. She enjoyed it. Okay. Well, good luck the rest of the year, and just think, you've got a, a lot more matches to play. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Next we have... Rachel Bears. And you're great? Uh, 12. Senior and position? Uh, DS. Okay, so you've been around for a while. How many years of varsity? Two or three? This is my second year. Second year. Do you have a memorable moment that sticks out? Um, I would have to, in the summer, we had a tournament at Malone, and we won that. So it was kind of the start to our season, and we did pretty so you well. Can, you can play in those type of things as a team? Yeah. Okay, they don't limit you. Like some sports, you can only have three basketball players. So your whole team can go there and play in the summer. Yeah. Great. That's terrific. And you win the thing. It's even better. Yeah. <laughs> Malone College, you you have any plans for college in the future? Um, I don't know. I've been looking at like a bunch of colleges, but I definitely want to go to college. Sure. Oh yeah, <laughs> you almost have to, right? So good. You'll do well. I know that. Good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Good. Next we have Maggie Julius. Maggie, you're great. I'm a senior. Senior in position. DS. Okay. How about a memorable moment for you? Um, I'd have to say the volley for the cure game. That that was just a fun night. It's a special occasion. Yeah. Let's tell it like it is. If you win on that night, it's a little icing on the cake. Yeah. But just to do a good thing, and, and that is a great cause. So, mm -hmm. terrific. Yours is coming up again October? October 2nd. Excuse me. Great. John, take over for a couple while I choke here. Who we got next? Pass it along. Thank here. <laughs> Maria Zito. I'm a senior. Hey, what position? Middle hitter. Right, and, and here's a question. You better answer this right or you could suffer the rest of the year. You don't have any bad sets during the course of the game. Not at all. Okay, very good answer. <laughs> now, that assures you getting good ones for the rest of this season. What? Uh, how, how's it going so far this year with your team? It's going really well. We're just getting better as every day goes on and fixing our mistakes. And Which which is what you got to do as you head toward that state mm -hmm. tournament, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And who's your, your biggest rival over there at uh, Riverside? Melissa. What? <laughs> well, oh. How, well, now, let, let's, let's pursue this. Why is she your rival we on the team? <laughs> we were leading toward, like, maybe a team. All right, I'll, I'll let you off the hook. Tell me what team I is your I thought you biggest, meant, like, a teammate. Tell me what team is your biggest rival. I'll get you off the hook here. So. <laughs> well, oh. good, good luck the rest of the season, and good luck in the tournament. Team. Thank you. <laughs> Now your biggest rival is first. <laughs> um, I'm Melissa Machizak. I'm a junior, and I play outside and right side. Do you guys fight each other? Or no? <laughs> we like each other. Oh, okay, that's I thought so. Uh, most memorable moment for you, dear? Probably have to also be like winning the tournament because it was like a great start to the season and helped us all like work together as a team. And I would say a great confidence builder. Huh? Yeah. You now you can win big things. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> It'll carry over. <laughs> When's your next match? Uh, Thursday. I guess? Geneva. Okay, conference <laughs> match. Got to win it. Yes. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Back row. Hi. Hi. I'm Rachel Strasky, and I'm a junior, and I play side and right side. Uh, both sides. Okay. Uh, do you have a memorable moment connected um, with volleyball? I would say our tournament last last weekend when we beat Illyria because it was just a really intense game, and we all really played well together. Awesome. Uh, any goals? 
Um, we are trying to be pack champs, but that would require us to beat South and just. Well, not if someone yeah. else beats them, like that, North tomorrow that's night. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. you. you that goal is certainly within reach. And next. Hi, I'm Ellie Hasbine. Hi, you're great. Tenth. And your position? DS. Okay, and uh, any memorable moment for you? Um, mine would also probably be winning the tournament last weekend in okay. Avon. Great. It's nice to be enter a tournament and win it. Yeah. It's awesome. It's nice to come in it second or third, but yeah. better to win the darn thing, right? Yeah, it was nice. Okay, and any goals for you? Um... Probably, we want to win districts. <laughs> Whoa, a little higher than the pack. No, that's great. And realistic, it sounds like. you got a talented yep. group. We do. I hope you get your goal. Thank you. And last but not least, I think we have? Kylie Kernak. Kylie, you're what grade? Freshman. Freshman again. You're the other, fr how many? Two? Yeah. Two. All right. Is it nice to have another freshman? Yeah. Yeah, a little somebody you can relate to rather than the seniors. And yeah. Yeah. Of course, you're going to be one in a couple of years, so. Yeah. You're learning from the older girls, I hope? Yeah, a lot. Good, good. And uh, how about you so far? Are you kind of getting wrapped up in all this? Um, Is it fun? Yeah, all it's right. really that's, fun. That's the important. <laughs> Winning's fun, so you've won a lot more than you've lost, so yeah. I'm sure you're having a good time. Yeah. Great. Did I miss anybody? All right, ladies, coach, all I can tell you is great bunch and good luck, not only Thursday, but the rest of the season, tournament, go as far as you can. Great. Let's hear it for the Riverside Volleyball Squad and their coach, Brandy Thomas, the very first on Mondays with Malta. And we hope they come back many, many times. And last but not least, we have the Cougars from Lake Catholic and their head coach, Rich Severino. And again, a huge gathering, as always, from Lake Catholic. And a team that needs no introduction, a program that needs no introduction. They've kind of set the standard around here for certainly uh, Division II, if not Division I schools in volleyball. Because we talked about schools, John, that knock on the door pretty much every year, but sometimes don't get through that door. And here's a program that not only knocks on the door, but has gotten through uh, many times. And, uh, of course, it all starts at the top with the head coach, and that's no stranger to Mondays with Malta, no stranger to Ray Malavik, Rich Severino. Hey, Ray. How coach, are you? how are you? Good. Good nice to see you. Nice to see you again. John. Getting a little gray. You know well, this guy here, huh? I don't have the same dye that you use. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Well, 23 years now you've been at this. 20, 23rd season. Yeah, wow. long time. <laughs> it's hard you, to believe. You, really. You've had, I mean, overall, a very, very successful program. Uh, more recently, winning the uh, Division II championship a couple of years ago. Give me, I, I think by far you're the, the one that we've had here tonight that's been here the longest. Give me your perspective on how things have changed since 1989. To, oh, to gosh. The Volleyball's come such a long way. The, the, the kids, the athletes have gotten so much better. It's, it's amazing to me how the, the game has evolved over, you know, 23 years. I mean, we're doing now that colleges are doing that we didn't even, we didn't even think about doing, you know, 10, 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's come a long way. I asked uh, Bill Barron this when he was here. When, when they went to, uh, when you guys were in the state semis back in the early, well, 10, 10 years ago or so, mm -hmm. uh, it, it was it was not, rally scoring had not yet been implemented right. in the game. How, has that, how has that changed things? Uh, good, because... If we were at States and it was best out of three, we would have got beat twice. So <laughs> He mentioned something like that, too. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think I like best out of five. I mean, we've come back from down, down to nothing, you know, a couple of times and stayed in it. So uh, I, think it's a, I, think, I think it's good. I, th I mean, best out of three, you've got to be on the money that first mm -hmm. game. If you're not, you're kind of up against the wall. Now, your schedule and, and I would say probably the last uh, four or five years I, I think you've ramped up that schedule yeah What's, this year give me, the, give me the, the reasoning behind that well the whole idea is to try to slow things down once you get to the tournament so with our schedule we go so at such a fast speed we play at such a fast speed all year long 
when we do get to districts, it, it really does slow down for us. And I, I, sometimes I think it's good, sometimes it's bad. Cause, you know, kids still play to that level that they're playing against, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I mean, it's our schedule this year, I, uh, we, it's been backloaded for the last, I don't know, maybe eight years. We, our last week of the season was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Saturday tournament. This year, it's front-loaded. We've already played 10 matches because we jumped in the Mags tournament in the beginning of the year, and then we had back-to-back Kenston tournament. So I, I don't know which way is better. You know, I kind of like that, all those games at the end of the season. But now it's kind of nice to slow down and, you know. Kind of catch your breath. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, you really don't have much of a chance to do that when you, you know, I think last year added Beaumont and Walsh to your conference. It was right. kind of a tough conference Our to conference is ridiculous. It really is. I mean, there's, there's no let up. I mean, not only that, the junior class throughout the state of Ohio is just phenomenally talented, unbelievably talented. I've, been, I've never seen it in 23 years. I've never seen a class with so many Division I athletes in it. It's, and and every, it seems like every school has two or three of them. You know, so for the next couple of years, it's going to be just a meat grinder. Well, well I mean, that, that's exciting. And on the same token, it's uh, kind of scary in a way. It too. is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you really, it, it, you think of seniors. You dominate with seniors. You win with seniors. And this year, it sounds like the elite players, and I'm sure there's some great seniors out there as well. Right. But it seems like, as you mentioned, the majority of the big-time names are this year and next year players. Yeah, it, the junior class is just really loaded. Wow, that's uh, one other point. We're going to get to the ladies here. Uh, I noticed, you know, in just reading some of the previews and over the years, I mean, you've done a wonderful job of getting people to the next level uh, and all over the place. I mean, you know, I, some people have a feeder school, so to speak. Uh, uh, I know a lot of baseball players from this area end up at St. Bonaventure because they have a, a little tie in there of a local coach. I noticed you spread it out. I mean, you know, I, it's gotten it's gotten a lot easier because of JOs. Okay. I mean, I, I definitely see these kids at, at Lake Catholic, but the JO program, I mean, they're they're getting seen by. I mean, look at Abby's got a Division One offer already on the table from Florida. I mean, that's a top ten school in the country. <laughs> volleyball you, you never would see that before you know no, what i mean and i think it's the jo program they're paying playing at such a high level there that now all these coaches are like they're they're starting to look at ohio kids and they never did you know 20 years ago they never oh, even looked at ohio kids forget it yeah forget uh, it unless you were a basketball player maybe as a female six foot four and whatever right, but i mean right. if you were just a good athlete yeah, Ohio, yeah, they play good. Then they'd look in Texas or Florida or exactly. California. But now that's turning around. It is definitely turning For around. our kids. Absolutely. Great. All right, Rich, well, let's get around here. We're going to try to get everybody in for a couple minutes or so, starting with, who do we have? Hi, I'm Kara Oster. And I we're going to go name, grade, and position. All right, I'm a senior, and I am a setter and a hitter. Both. Well, yes. You get to do both. Most yep. people, if they're going to specialize, it's one or the other. Yeah. That's good. So you get to pound it once mm-hmm. in a while. You like that? As yeah, much? I like it a lot. Yeah, yep. I figured you mm-hmm. do. Okay. Uh, real quick, one main question. How about uh, goals for the year? Um, definitely a goal every year is going back to states. And going my freshman and my sophomore year, it's definitely like an attainable goal, I feel, for Lake Catholic Volleyball. So it's definitely something we hope to do again this year. Yeah. You know what's neat about your program is a lot of people set that goal and they just don't get there. You have what it takes to get there. Definitely. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Pass it along. Who do you have? I'm Sammy Klein. I'm okay. a senior, and I'm a libero. Great. And you also got a nice little write-up today. I was reading about her a couple days ago. And you're that girl that can run out there anytime you want, special uniform. Do you feel special doing that? Um, sometimes, Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> especially when you perform well, I would think. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Uh, how long have you been playing volleyball? Oh, boy. Um, nine years, probably. All right. So way back when, huh? Yeah. And that was, was that in sort of like an organized type setting? or? Um, in fourth grade, I started playing CYO volleyball. So. so it went right up from there. Yeah. Awesome. That's what it takes, huh? That's what it takes. A couple more years and maybe a next level. Yep. Good. Good luck to you. And good well, luck. you're going. Well, where- Sammy's going to Duquesne yeah. University. Yes. Wow. Okay, there's what I mean about uh, that's the first one I've ever heard yeah. from this area to go there. Yeah. And it comes from Lake Catholic. Congratulations. Thank you. Next, please. 
I'm Jamie Vargo. I'm a sophomore, and I play right side. Okay. First year on a varsity? Yes. Okay. Enjoying it? A lot. Terrific. I bet. You got a nice <laughs> smile. I know you're enjoying it. It's good to be around winning team and winning coach, winning players. Yeah. That helps. It helps a lot. Uh, how about you as far as uh, uh, a goal, realistic goal? Um, to, well, I wasn't on the team when we went to States, mm -hmm. so it'd be really cool to experience it for my first time on varsity so yeah. and if certain you were aware of it i mean you yeah. yeah it'd be nice to be a part of it yeah great well i think you had a good shot thank you next we have i'm aaron walsh i'm a sophomore and i'm a middle okay you get to pound it quite a bit what about uh, any memorable moment so far this year <laughs> Best is yet to come, but I mean, not so far, it's something that sticks out in your mind. You know, a particular win? Um, well, we beat Kenson on our first game at that, home. That's good. No, you got to start with a victory, and that was a good team to beat. Uh huh. They got some individual players there, don't they? <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. They're, they're causing you a lot of trouble. Give them a smack. That's okay. <laughs> She's next. Wait till you see the questions I ask her. No, you're okay. Uh, thank you for being with us. Good luck. Now, who do we have? Hi, I'm Abby Dietering. I'm a junior, and I am a right side and a setter. All right. So you're the one going to Florida. Yep. And is that a big thrill for you, I would think? Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Have you been down there? Yeah. You liked it? Yep, I've been what? there like three times. Oh, you really like it. Yeah. Oh, nice. You spend a lot of time there. Yeah. Uh, big program, big in the country, a lot of responsibility, but you feel you can be equal to it? Yeah, it's a, it's going to be a challenge, but I'm up to that, so awesome. excited. And your what? position? I'm going to be a setter when I go there. Setter there. What about yes. now? Well, for high school, I'm a setter and a hitter, but for J.O., I'm just a setter. All right, so you are focusing on, on one thing, yeah. really. Yeah. You almost have to on that level, I would think, huh? Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, how about, uh, well, a goal is already to get to college, play in a big-time program. How about a realistic high school goal before you leave? Um, high school goal is to definitely win another state championship. I mean, I think that's everyone's, but we can definitely do it this year. Sure. So. And a special feature because it's your last hurrah. Yep. Well, have a good hurrah. Thank you. Well, let me ask, Congratulations. Uh, well, let me ask Rich a question here. Abby said she's going as a, a setter to Florida, and you're six foot one, Abby. Yeah. What, what's Left, the? T tell me the. T tell me the value of a six foot one left-handed setter <laughs> in college. Well, if you look at every top ten college volleyball program, they probably, I would say, ninety percent of them have a six foot lefty as their setter because it's so much easier for a lefty setter to go up and turn and attack the ball because she's left-handed. Uh, yeah, I mean, you would, I mean, I would look down the road. Every Stanford, I'm sure, all those teams have left-handed setters. And it you know, kind of carries over to a left-hand relief pitcher in baseball. Absolutely. You can play till 40, 45 because you're left-handed. Yeah. Well, great. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, lastly, I would go to dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. I just wanted to answer this, this one. This is the Abby show, by the way. <laughs> Monday's with Abby. I really Abby. wanted to answer this. I'd go to dinner with Aaron's dad. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you for getting that in there, really. Charlie, you're done. Charlie, new banners, new banners. Monday's with Abby. And Ray Malavik, too. Next, please. Go ahead. I'm Jensen Sheritz. I'm a sophomore, and I'm a DS. Okay. Sophomore player of our scene. A nice program. Exciting. Yep. All right. Uh, most memorable moment for you so far? Uh, well, probably from, like, last year, being a freshman, I was pulled up for postseason to play in varsity, so that was really cool. Got a feel of what that's all about. Great. That is, that's important. It really is. Good luck. Thank you. Next, in the back row, we have... Hi, I'm Krista Kamala. I'm a junior, and I'm an outside hitter. Okay, first year varsity? Yeah. All right. I dressed last year at the end. Yeah, you got a little feel for them. Yeah. Now you're participating. It's better that way, right? Yeah. Okay, do you have a most memorable win so far? Um, Last year, we won both of our tournaments that we were in, and it was a lot of fun because we went undefeated. Almost. Hard to do. You know, like so. Coach said, you get a little off day or a little off match, you're not going to win the tournament. I mean, just yeah. The way it is, especially the teams that you play against. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, continue success. Thank you. And next we have. Hi, I'm Morgan Toman. I am a senior, and I'm a middle hitter. Middle hitter. And did you play a lot last year? 
I played yes last year. Yes. And how about the year before? Not before that. So last two year's years first year. Yes, okay, two years. great. So you got a, a taste last year, and now you're yeah. participating more. Great. Have a goal in mind? Special goal? Goals, I would say, like everyone else's, to get to States. I wasn't on the team when they went to States, but I went and I watched, and it was just an amazing feeling even just to watch. And for us to win was it was just amazing, and I'd love to be a part of that this year if we can get back. That's and then great. also just to do our best, play at a high level, get as far as we can. So Great. You know, tradition, you can't replace it. You can't. You just cannot. I mean, and you have it, and that's a great feeling. Next, please. Hi. I'm Maggie Wilhelm. I'm a junior, and I'm an outside. Okay. And uh, last year, varsity? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this year playing on the regular rotation? Yeah, I've switched positions a few times, so. Good. Yeah. Versatility, very good mm -hmm. quality. Uh, goal for you in the team? State, I would guess, huh? Yep, states, for sure. Okay, and your league certainly prepares you. Your coach mentioned mm -hmm. it. There's just no easy ones, no yeah. question. Uh, next, please. <laughs> I'm Mina of Sorry Vard. I'm a junior and I'm a setter. Setter also, okay. Uh, what kind of offense do you play? I asked the coach, but you tell me. We play a quicker offense. Quick? And yeah. Two setters on the floor or one? Yeah, we play six two. Okay, good. Um, we know Coach because we've known him for a long time, and uh, he's kind of a low key guy when it comes to matches. <laughs> uh, is it, when it comes to matches, now I said, is it a little different uh, in practices? Yeah. Is, can I use the bit. word? Can I use the word intense as an adjective to describe him? Yeah. Good. You know what? It, the results. The results show. Go ahead. You got something. He's something? married. He's married. Oh, okay. That's cool. Because you know, I, matches. He's just kind of laid back. Once or twice, I saw him get a little edged, but not much. But in practice, I think it's a little different story. Yeah. Well, that's what a coach should do. Be hard at practice. Yep. Can't do much in a game. It's up to you guys. Next, please. Thank you, dear. Hi, I'm Morgan Duffy. I'm a junior, and I'm a DS. Okay, and. Uh, how about you? A memorable moment? Um, pro well, probably beating Kent State because they're like a really good team. Yeah, and yeah. you come out with a win. And yeah, it was like it was a good start. Like we had a big crowd and we came out and won. And that's another thing. You guys, uh, you get a lot of support, don't you, at home yeah. matches? Yeah, we a have lot. a good we have good fans. You do uh, for yeah. volleyball because you yeah. know football you're gonna have it, basketball, yeah. volleyball you've always had that support. It's mm -hmm. kind of a a rowdy crowd, yeah. and that's the way it should be at home. Yep. Great. Well, keep them rowdy. <laughs> okay. Good job. Next. Hi, I'm Tess Connolly. I'm a freshman, and I'm an outside. Freshman. Yes. In the varsity. Yes, sir. So you skip freshman, you skip JV. <laughs> yes, sir. Go right to the top. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I like that. Did you expect it? Be honest. Did um, you expect that? I was kind of surprised when I got the contract. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah. Uh, you getting some time out there? Starter. Uh, I'm a starter. I guess you're getting some time out. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of right do fire. that. Go ahead, go ahead. Throw it right into the fire. Yeah. Well, hey, you got four years of it. Might as get, well. Let's get burned early, right? She's yeah. talented Great. enough. Well, uh, good luck to you. Thank you, sir. What an experience. Thanks. Okay. And last but not least. Um, I'm Colleen Wilhelm. I'm a freshman, and I'm a middle hitter. Middle hitter. Okay. <laughs> And, uh, again, you bypassed the preliminaries. You went up to the big time. Yeah, I played a little bit of JV, but I got moved up last week. Wow. That's excellent. That's excellent. Because you're third, third in the line of Wilhelms, right? Yes. I was going to say, that name is familiar. Yes. Any more coming up? Um, no, I'm the last one. Oh, gee. That's why he went to a little sadness there. You know? uh, yeah, absolutely. The Wilhelms have been around forever, so I'm going to definitely enjoy my four years with Colleen. Good so. players and good people. Thank you. And I love your shirt that says, we came, we played, we won. Oh, yeah. And this, <laughs> prog this program has won a lot. And, and it's, a, it's a, to me, a benchmark for other programs to shoot for. I agree. All right. Thank you very All much. Right, John, thank you. Rich, you wanted to talk about an assistant, yeah, I think? I, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about your uh, trusty assistant who's been around for, for quite a while. Well, um, I really... <laughs> <laughs> her name is Agla Lenowskis. Her daughter played for me back in, what year was that? 2000, 2003. Viva was a very good player. She went on and played. At, she had a, a scholarship at Kent State. And um, Ag and I hooked up then, and we've been together ever since. And you know what? 
you're only, I'm only as good as my assistant coaches, and she's one of the best. I mean, she does everything for me. That's nice to hear. And, 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 really. and having, nice hear. having been around the program for four years and, and, and peripherally, I can say that uh, Rich is absolutely correct. Well, you know, and, and you do. You, you win with everybody. Uh, I've yet to see a head coach that totally, completely on his or her own merit uh, it, it wins and, and takes all the honors because it doesn't happen, realistically. I've heard guys say that and girls, but realistically, where are you going to be without your freshman Absolutely. coach? Your, if you have a middle school program, your assistant varsity, your JV, all working together to, to, for a common goal, and that's to make the best you can be at your sport. And Lake Catholic, I think, typifies that as well as anybody in the area in all their sports. And guess what? That's why they're successful. Well, ladies, best of luck to you. We'll be following you as always, and uh, go get them. Next match, when is it? Uh, tomorrow night at, uh, at our place against Walsh. Against Walsh. Okay, yeah. big match. Good luck, ladies. Thanks, Rick. Well, thank John, you, Coach. John, we're up against it now. Somehow we got it all in. <laughs> the magic of uh, getting people around. Uh, thank you for being here. I, I hope Pleasure you enjoyed it. Oh, seem yeah. to every year. Every year. Well, you're coming back next year, I'll Lord willing. Me, Lord willing. The man, man, Charlie Malta, Lord willing. We'd like to thank you for joining in tonight. And don't forget, Mama Roberto's top-notch Italian food to go to eat here. Events, party center, it's got it all. And don't forget, next week we're at Willoughby Panini's for Willoughby South, South Night. Right. Volleyball, football, and oh boy, talk about football. They're rolling again. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.